Starting lineup tonight. For the Tigers, a sophomore from Nashville, Tennessee, number 24, Ashlyn Wilkes. And rounding out the starting lineup for the Tigers, a senior from Macomb, Michigan, number 32, Jade Reese. Head coach of the Tigers is uh, Quentin Adams. Assistant is Brittany Summerfield. Assistant, Landon Wilkes. And now let's share it for your home team, your Andrews Bay Cardinals. Starting lineup for the Cardinals. A junior from Noblesville, Indiana, number four, Emily Hicks. A sophomore from West Road, Texas, number two, Delina Overview. A senior from Phoenix, Arizona, number 40, Joanna Rivas. A senior from Mishawaka, Indiana, number 12, Katie Bird. And the captain, a senior from Upper Road, Little Maryland, number one, Nadira Cousins. Head coach of the Cardinals, Karen Woolridge, in his 12th season. Let's go, Cardinals! Scrambling to get ready for these games tonight. It's the uh, Cardinals against the Tigers from Wyoming, Michigan. Grace Christian and we got our first whistle of the game. Look after the basket was good by the Tigers. They get the early bucket there to go up two nothing. Cardinals again playing with eight players tonight. Here's Emily Hicks with the inbound to Nadira Cousins. Back outside, Rebus. Over to Cousins across the center line. Cardinals with the ball on offense for the first time. That first foul of the game was on the Tigers. On number 10, Tatum. The first team's first, her first. Now the Cardinals turn it over and they're in offensive attempt. Tigers back with it now. Driving in the lane, they draw the foul and looks like the basket's going to count. And right away, a full run by the Tigers to start the game and the foul's going to be on Katie Bird, her first, team's first. And it looks like we're going to have at the line for the Tigers for the three-point play here. Check the number in a minute. Looks like it was Monday, with the Monday, I believe, or was that Helmuth? Helmuth, I guess, was the one at the line. No, it was Monday. Monday with the bucket to make it five to nothing on that. So a five-zero run. Cardinals with the miss on the other end. Back right away, down court. Ashlyn Wilkes into the lane, and they got another foul on the Cardinals. Katie Bird has already picked up two quick fouls. And that is Bell's trouble there for one of the Cardinal starters. Two fouls on Bird. 8.45 to go here in the opening period. Promney Andreas in center for wellness. Free throw is good. Free throw is good by the Tigers. And up and good, a couple of free throws by Tatum. It's a 7-0 run by the Grace Christian uh, University Tigers. Starts this game, here's Emily Hicks over to Overfield across the center line. Back out to Nadira Cousins. The two captains on this team, I was, I made a mistake, just, uh, 
Katie Bird and Nadira Cousins are both captains. I want to make sure that's clear. I wasn't, I was, I made a mistake there in my opening announcement. Bird with a nice shot right there on the right side for the Cardinals, a jumper just beyond the, just beyond the free throw line on the right, on, excuse me, on the left to score to make it seven to two now. Cardinals break the 7-0 run, good shot by Bird. Now basket underneath by Wilkes. Ashlyn Wilkes. Now a steal in the backcourt by the Tigers. They get another chance at it, but missing the shot is Monday. Recovered now by Cousins over overfield across the center line from Hicks. And the Cardinals. Trying to get some offense going this time. Nope, ball taken away by the uh, 32 Reese of the Tigers. Shot down low by Reese on the feed. Down low from Tatum, and it's now 11 to two. Well, the Tigers very aggressive on offense. and come up strong, getting some buckets in a 7-0 run there to start the game, and now up 11 to two. Cardinals have their work cut out here. Here's Overfield trying to dump it back out. Back outside. Bird trying to defend on the ball coming down the lane by the Tigers, and another foul. Let's see who that's on. I was on number three. Let's see. Oh, sure, I gotta get the foul call here. Uh, number three. So that's gonna be on the Cardinals. Their third team foul. It's on the Dyra Cousins first. That was what that foul was on. Back and forth they go. Cardinals with another miss on the offensive end. Tigers move down first. They got a offensive. Is it a blocking foul on the Cardinals? Looks like it's going to be a blocking foul on the Cardinals. And we already have another foul. That's Katie Bird, who's just picked up her third foul. Bird with three now. Three fouls on Bird. And they're only in the first quarter, uh, first uh, period. So it means. Uh, Need to, means the Cardinals are going to have to go to their bench and Bird's going to have to come out. And that's exactly what's going to have to happen. Bird with three fouls already early on, unfortunately, for the uh, Lady Cardinals. So Bird steps. A timeout by the Cardinals now with 6.36 left in the first period. They're going to have to strategize without Bird, one of their starters now, has picked up three fouls and we haven't even made it through the first period. Tough situation for the Cardinals. They're also underhanded, they are, or shorthanded, I should say. They've down a couple of players. Don't have Lonto or Humphrey here again tonight. So, unfortunately, the Cardinals down 14 to two here early on. And, uh, Bird, one of their tallest players, and has to come out with the foul. She's playing with an injured eye, it looks like, as well. She's been banged up, had an injured eye. She has to come out with the three fouls. So here's uh, Emily Hicks with the inbound to Cousins, who's double teamed in the backcourt. Cardinals dump it back to Hicks, Emily Hicks. Down court, Hicks goes all the way, shoots off the window, no good. Cardinals got to get back on D now. Looking for some help. Tigers come on down the lane and pick up another foul. Now they're going to call that a jump ball. So, possession arrow belongs to the Cardinals this time. 33 comes in off the bench for the Grace Christian University Tigers. 33 is Emily L Libby. Chase Michigan, the senior, off the bench for the Tigers. Cardinals with a on defense right now here down 14 to 2. 6-12. On the clock. Shot up. And 
and a miss by the Tigers there down low. Cardinals get it back, coming back the other way, Overfield with the ball. Overfield, trying to drive, gets it to Rivas. Shot is blocked. Loose ball now, picked up by the by the Tigers. They move down court. Libby with the shot for three on the right off the bench. Gets three for the Tigers, who are now ahead 17 to two. Tough start for the Lady Cardinals here. Overfield over the cross the line to Cousins. Three on three break for the Cardinals, but they slow it down. And now they move it to the left to Overfield with 15 on the shot clock. Overfield drives, double teamed, and now gets tangled up with Libby of the Tigers. And it looks like it's still going to be Cardinal ball with 20 on the shot clock here. Got 5.17 left in the first period. He just joined us, the Cardinals playing Grace Christian University from Wyoming, Michigan. We're down 7.2 here in the five minutes left in the first period. Cousins from top to key for the Cardinals, going left to Overfield. Overfield with the ball back outside. Cousins who gets the three-pointer to go. Nice job by Denira Cousins. Good shooting form there. And the Cardinals make it 17 to 5 now. They trail by 12 with 4.50 to go in the, in the first period. Grace Christian University Tigers in the lane. Shot up, no good. The miss put back though, no good as well. Two misses in a row there. And the Cardinals get it back. Cousins with the rebound. A couple of misses there help the Tigers, or help the Cardinals get the ball from the Tigers there. Cardinals on offense. Cousins with the jumper on the left gets it to go. Five straight points by the Dyrick Cousins makes it 17 to seven. Cardinals inching their way back a little bit here now. That's good. Back on D now with four minutes to go in the first. Okay. Tigers with the ball, shot left side, no good by, by Alyssa Genty. I believe that was who took that shot. Yep, the sophomore from Jackson, Michigan, number one. The miss, Cardinals have Emily Hicks with the shot, no good, misses it on the left. Tigers with the rebound. Pushing it down is Helmo. Dumps it in the corner for three, and it's the second three off the bench for number 33, Emily Libby. Four makes it 20 to seven now with the shot by the Tigers. Cardinals with the ball. Cousins across the center line looking for help. Dumps it to the right. Just dumps it to the right, which is Kudapin, who came in the game after Bird got in foul trouble, and now we have a timeout by the timeout by the Tigers of Grace Christian University with 3:07 left in the first. Cardinals seven, the Tigers two. You're listening to Cardinal basketball on AUSA, the Andrews University Student Association YouTube channel live in HD. Every home game always brought to you uh, by Andrews University. Quality education close to home. Andrews University. Seek knowledge, affirm your faith, and change the world. So, well, the Cardinals started out behind here, then battled back to a 10-point deficit. Now they're down by 13. And Katie Bird in foul trouble with three fouls on the bench for the Cardinals, the only starter in foul troubles. Now we got Overfield coming out of the ball game, and Riley Hicks checks into the game for the Cardinals. Well, three minutes to go here, folks, in the first period. Hicks with the ball. It's Riley Hicks over to Cousins. Cousins looking for the jumper. Running out of shot clock. Cousins almost with the attempt, but gets it partially blocked. Back the other way come the Tigers. Coast to coast bucket there by the Tigers. That was uh, Mundy with the basket. That's now 24, or no, 22 to seven. Cardinals bringing it up on a little backcourt pressure by the Tigers. 22 to seven. 
Riley Hicks with the ball for the Cardinals. Go to the corner to Cousins. Cousins looking to drive. Now pops the jumper. Fall away, no good. Riley Hicks trying to go for the rebound. Couldn't get it for the Cardinals. We're going to get Renee Wisdom into the game for the Cardinals here now off the bench. Cardinals playing with eight players, and one of those is you know, injured and in foul trouble. So they are definitely a little shorthanded. Two minutes to go in the first. It's Tigers 22, Cardinals 7 here on AUSA from the Andreas Center for Wellness. With the ball are the Tigers from Grace Christian University. And the shot goes up, no good. On the miss by Monday, goes out of bounds. Cardinals are going to get it back. We've got a minute 56 now remaining in the period. Pressure, pressure. Here we go, 150 to go. Shot up, no good on the left by Hit Riley Hicks. Quick rebound by the Tigers. They're coming right back the other way on a two-on-two -two break. We're gonna foul underneath. As Tatum tried for the shot for the Tigers and got fouled by the Cardinals, this would be the fourth Tiger, uh, fourth Cardinal team foul. First one on Riley Hicks. So 22 to seven. Riley Hicks at the line. Excuse me, at, uh, with the foul at the line is Tatum for the Tigers, excuse me. Shot up, good by Tatum. Make the score 23 to seven. One more free throw coming up. For Jade, no, for, excuse me, Zion Tatum. Makes a pair there for the Tigers to make it 24 to seven. And back the other way come the... Cardinals with the ball now. Riley Hicks on the left with 15 on the shot clock for Andrews. Swings it over to Cousins. Cousins with the ball. Shot up by Cousins, no good. Battle for the rebound goes to Monday for the Tigers. We got a minute to go in the period. And another shot down low by Libby. Emily Libby with the miss there, but the offensive board by the Tigers keeps them alive. Eight on the shot clock, 45 seconds on the game clock. Long three, no good by the Tigers. They get another board after the miss by Genke. And now foul underneath on the Cardinals as they try to stop the Tiger barrage here. Three straight opportunities, and now they finally draw the foul the Tigers do. The foul's on the Cardinals. Number five, Riley, no, they're gonna call this one on in. Emily Hicks this time. So both you know, Emily and Riley Hicks with a foul apiece. 15 foul on the Cardinals. And the free throw is good. Free throw is good by Monday. Is at the line again for the Tigers. And we're gonna get Overfield back in in a minute, but not quite. We're gonna have to wait for one more free throw here. We got 35 seconds left in the first period. Shot up and good. So Monday completes the free throws to make it 26 to seven. Overfield in and Riley Hicks comes out. For the Cardinals, there's Cousins in the backcourt. Full court pressure put on by the Tigers here. Here's Rivas on the center line trying to get it to Overfield and the ball stolen away by the Tigers. Libby with the ball, swings it over to Monday. Monday. Shot left side, no good by the number 10, Tatum. Tatum with the miss, loose ball, still battled for it. It goes out of bounds off of Cousins. It's still gonna be with nine seconds left of the period, the Tigers ball. And everybody scrambling for that ball that time. It went out of bounds off the Cardinals. Tigers ball, inbound pass, shot by the Tigers, no good by Tatum, now another foul called. This one on the, this time on the Tigers. Fouls on number 23. 
of the Tigers. Cardinal ball with four seconds in the period that fouls on number 23, Alexa Boardman. And now the whistle runs out and the time runs out on the first period. At the end of one, it's the Andrews Cardinals seven and the Grace Christian University Tigers 26. You're listening to Cardinal Basketball on AUSA. Andrews University Student Association YouTube channel, AUSA. All the YouTube, all you know, live on YouTube, uh, live in HD on AUSA every home game. And a tough start for the Cardinals. They're down 26 to seven. They're trying to work short-handed here. As I said earlier, they got only eight suited up players out of 10 tonight, plus one injured, slightly injured. And a couple others look like they've been stretching and trying to stay able to keep limber enough to be in there. They played a lot of games in the last couple of days. And with 40 seconds left in this intermission, getting uh, both coaches talking it over here. It is 26 to seven. And the Cardinals are down right now, going to the second period here from the address and center for wellness. Next game is at 7.30 here right after this one. Grace Christian University men's team versus the Andrews men at 7.30. <laughs> University Cincinnati Claremont is the next games after that Saturday night. Both of these two teams, the Andrews ladies and men's teams play there against, uh, will play here at the Andreas and Center for Wellness. Uh, two more games on Saturday night. And those will be against the University of Cincinnati Claremont. So, Tune in on AUSA for that. And here we go. It looks like the trainer working on some of the players for the Cardinals to get stretched out. Looks like they got a lot of um, tough uh, problems with people stiffening up. Uh, Cardinals on defense to start the second period. Shot up. Couple of shots up, three shots up. I was still trying to get a rebound there, but the battle is being won on the boards by the next five shots. Finally, a sixth shot goes in. And I'm telling you, the Cardinals just couldn't get a rebound in that exchange. And finally, number 23 scores for the Alexa Boardman, the junior from Holland, Michigan, scoring for the Tigers to make it 28 to seven. So the Cardinals just can't get any rebounds there. Uh, when you know your tallest player is Katie Bird, she's out with three fouls. She might come in the latter part of this period, perhaps. The traveling call on the Cardinals, Emily Hicks turns the ball back over to the Tigers now. It's 28 to seven. And a bunch of subs coming in for the Tigers now. Whole slew of players. And they continue to keep fresh players in the game. The Tigers have the luxury. They have one, two, about six players on the bench. The Tigers and Cardinals only have three, so they're out man there. There's a shot inside, and good. Boardman, or was that Wilkes? Axel Wilkes with the luck, excuse me, for the Tigers. The Cardinals bring it back down. They're down now 30 to seven. Now we got a traveling call on Hicks at midcourt. So the Cardinals turn it over again. It's 30 to seven with 8.33 to go in the half. And it's tough when you're out, out uh, you just, uh, yeah, you just uh, under man, under, got less players to work with. And they're gonna bring Katie Bird back into Cardinals eye here with 8.20 to go in the half. As another bucket there by the Tigers. It was number five scoring uh, Helmuth. It is 20, it's 32 to seven is, there's a good move by Cousins and now she grabs her calf muscle. After that layup, she's hopefully okay, but she seems to be hurting a little. Hopefully she's all right, we can't afford to lose her. 32 to nine, and yeah, she is favoring that left leg, uh, Nadira Cousins. She may have to come out. She is, as we get Katie Bird back in the game for the Cardinals now. Cousins stays in despite the slight limp as Overfield comes out. Seems like a several of the Cardinal players seem to be nursing some, uh, I don't know, hamstring or some tightening leg muscles here and there, and it's causing 
some havoc for them. Here's Emily Hicks with a good pass from Katie Bird for the bucket for the Cardinals to make it 32 to 11. Back the other way now come the uh, Tigers. Cardinals on D. Foul around the, around the horn, just outside the arc. With the ball, Almuth dumps it right corner to Mundy. Back up top they go to Wilkes. Down the lane, shot no good. Cousins with the rebound. Cousins seems to be okay, not showing any favor toward that slightly bothersome leg. Gets it out to Wisdom, down low to Rivas. Rivas now taking the ball, taken away down there by the Tigers. And now fast break attempt by the Tigers goes awry and the ball goes out of bounds. Back to the Cardinals. We got 6.54 left in the half. It's the Grace Christian University Tigers 32. Lady Tigers 32, the Can Andrews Lady Cardinals 11 from the Andreas and Center for Wellness. Cousins with the ball. For the Cardinals, over to Emily Hicks, over to Katie Bird for the shot. Can't get it to go. And it looks like the rebound goes to Wilkes for the Tigers. And they push it down. Ball stolen away, though, by Nidira Cousins. Nidira, Nidira Cousins with the steal. She goes down court and draws the foul for the Cardinals. Good hustle by Cousins on both ends of the court. Draws the foul. First foul of the second period for either team. And it's going to be a number five. Halmuth, her first. You got six and 25 remaining in the half. Cardinals with a full 30 second shot clock here. And that was a that was a shooting foul on Cousins. So she's going to go to the charity stripe here for the Cardinals. She's the leading scorer right now in this game for the Cardinals. She's got a basket up, shot up, and oh boy, bounced around but would not go in. So she'll get one more, and it's still 32 to 11. One more free throw coming up. And she gets that one up no good. She missed a pair, unfortunately. Back the other way come the Tigers as Overfield gets ready to come back in for the Cardinals. Libby with the ball, swings it left, shot up, no good. Cousins the rebound for the Cardinals and then a reach in after the miss by Mundy. She tried to reach in and grab that rebound from Cousins. And Cousins won the battle and Cousins gonna come out and rest her leg as Overfield comes back in. Six minutes to go and a half. Overfield to bring it up for the Cardinals out of the tie out of the exchange there after the couple of players came in and out of the game. Here's Emily Hicks back out Revis over to Overfield. Cardinals at 15 on the shot clock. Overfield to Wisdom. Inside the lane, Revis working hard, dumps it back to Katie Bird. Bird in the lane, now back outside Overfield. Cardinals down to five on the shot clock. Overfield running out, takes the shot as time expires, almost there. Oh, there was a whistle right before her shot. And they call the travel for the shot. Boy, she tried. Cardinals ran out of time, and they give the ball back up to the Tigers. Tigers with the ball now. Helmuth brings it down, brings it out to Libby. Yeah. In the right corner, shot up by Helmuth. In and out, no good. Offensive rebound and put back, no good. And Haiti Bird gets the rebound after the miss on the putback by Jade Reese. Cardinal ball with five minutes to go in the half. Uh, back on offense here, Overfield over to Bird. Bird with the ball, Bird in the lane to Rivas for the shot, in and out, no good. Battle for the rebound goes to the Tigers. Quickly down court for the Tigers, shot right side, no good by 24, Wilkes. Offensive rebound and Reese puts it back in and draws the foul, I believe that's number two on Emily Hicks. No, they're gonna call an offensive foul. And Emily Hicks gave her body up for the team there. And that's gonna be on 32. Reese with the offensive foul, second team foul, third team foul now, excuse me, on the Tigers in the period. Yeah, that was a tough offensive foul to take by Emily Hicks. 
4.31 to go in the half, 32 to 11. Cardinals with the ball, shot by Emily Hicks, no good on the right side. Back the ball goes to the Tigers. Cousins still out of the game with that tightening hamstring. She came out, now three-pointer in the corner by Ashlyn Wilkes for the Tigers, makes it 35 to 11. Here's the Cardinals with the ball on offense. Revis with the shot on the right, no good. Wilkes the rebound for the Tigers. Tigers with the ball with 340 to remaining in the half. Tigers working it around the perimeter. They got 12 in the shot clock, ball stolen away by Hicks. Good play. Oh, no, it was, uh, that was uh, not Emily Hicks with the steal. That was Katie Bird with the good steal. All right, Cardinal ball. They bring it down. Wisdom on the right side for the Cardinals. Wisdom dumping it in. No, a ball stolen away by the Tigers. Good steal by Jade Reese. And right down the court for the bucket is Ashlyn Wilkes to score for the Tigers there to make it 37 to 11. And Cardinals bring it back down on offense, trying to reset and re retool here. 2.55 to go, first half. And there's a good move in the lane by Overfield. Missed the shot, however. Right back the other way come the Tigers. Tigers with the ball with 2.45 to go in the half. Bring it around the, around there. Now we're gonna know offensive foul on Tatum for the Tigers. That's her, that's the fourth team foul and her second. And the Cardinals bring back in Cousins and Riley Hicks off the bench. 2.39 to go in the half. Cousins, that's good news, back in the game for the Cardinals and uh, Riley Hicks back in as well. 37 to 11. 2.35 to go in the half after that offensive foul on the Tigers, their 14 foul. Cousins with the ball, swings it left to Riley Hicks. Riley Hicks looking for help. Now she's waiting for an opening, gets it to Cousins over to, oh, Katie Bird just wide of her out of bounds. So the Cardinals turn it over. They're trying to work something around the uh, perimeter there and fortunately the pass went wide of Katie Bird there. 37 to 11, Tigers with the ball now. Tigers bring it up. Swing it in, Reese, give and go down the lane. Shot no good by Tatum. Cardinals get it back. Cousins now left on the left side line across the center line for the Cardinals. Down to a minute 50 to go here in the half. Katie Bird with the ball, the other captain for the Cardinals, tries to take the shot, partially blocked, goes back to the Tigers, and now knocked out of bounds by uh, Cousins. And she knocked that away from Wilkes out of bounds. Still, still the ball belongs to the Tigers. And they quickly inbound the ball with a minute 46 to go in the half. In the corner, they're working it. Trying to get an open shot. Shot up and no good. Cardinals get the ball. Cousins again, bringing it up for Andrews. Trying to work it down low. Emily Hicks give and go to Katie Bird for the shot, no good. Tigers with the ball now. Taking their time with a minute to go in the half are the Tigers as they bring it down. Wilkes down low, gets it to Reese for the bucket. 39 to 11 now, the Tigers in the lead. Cardinals have to seal that off down low, quite difficult to do. 39 to 11 with the last 45 seconds of the half ticking away. Emily Hicks back outside to Cousins, good shot, Cousins, oh, nothing but net for Nadira Cousins. He's been a very bright spot on offense for the Cardinals in his first half. 39 to 14 after that three-pointer by Cousins, her second one of the night. Second three-point tray of the day for Nadira Cousins. Oh boy, now we're gonna get a 
foul called on offensive foul. Boy, Katie Bird, or Emily Hicks and Katie Bird putting their life on the line down there. Good move from Bird, who took a real risk. Trying to pick up her fourth, but she hung in there as Overfield comes back in for the Cardinals. 23 seconds in the period. Cardinals get the ball back to foul on 33 Libby. Her second, the team's fifth for the Tigers. Cousins brings it bound for Andrews. We don't, we have 15 on the shot, seconds on the shot clock left. Now the Cardinals turn it over. Cousins trying to get it down. And in the lane and the ball stolen away. Now it's back to the Cardinals on defense and they commit the foul. So uh, let's see, let's check who the foul is on. On Cousins, her first. And that sends the Tigers to the free throw line. Oops. Libby at the line. Hits the free throw to make it 40 to 14. Seven seconds to go in the half, and both free throws good by Libby to make it 41 to 14. And Overfield brings it up the court. Overfield with a ball going all the way. Tried to get the pass over to Riley Hicks. It was stolen away by the Tigers, and that'll end the first half. Tough first half for the Cardinals. Their offense is just not enough to keep up with some of these teams, and they're down 41 to 14 at the half as we head to intermission here. Great Lakes Christian College, um, Grace Christian College, excuse me, Tigers from Wyoming, Michigan, 41. Your Andrews Cardinals 14. You're listening to Cardinal Basketball on AUSA. Halftime here at the Andreas Center for Wellness and tough, tough first half for the Lady Cardinals as they need more offense. To, they just don't have it. And they had Katie Bird in foul trouble, which didn't help. And they don't have, they're down a couple of players tonight as well. And, a, and even the, some of the players they have here tonight, I think it's at least three of them were ailing with um, hamstring problems in the first half. So when you got three players that are fighting hamstring injuries, one fighting a foul, is in foul trouble and has a, you now she has an injured eye and then you have two others that are out playing, playing by just being, uh, showing a lot of grit, a lot of grit, determination and just keeping your head up despite being, you know, like I said, uh, out. Out, uh, out. I don't even know what word to use. They're just, they're just um, a lot of obstacles that has to overcome. So, a 14-minute intermission here, so it'll be a little bit. We'll try to give you the halftime stats, but it's pretty obvious where the problems are for the Cardinals. They just cannot stop the offense of the Vikings. Too many second shots and they out rebounded and they can't get enough offense to keep competitive here. Injury is also a problem for the Cardinals, but if you look at the stats of the game, the Cardinals hitting 26% uh, from the field, 35% from the Tigers at Grace Christian University. The Cardinals uh, out rebounded 27 to 19. Cardinals with 15 turnovers and only eight turnovers for Grace Christian. Just every stat there shows some of the problems. Cardinals, six out of 23 from the field, 0 for two from the free throw line, two for three from the free throw, from the, uh, they are two for three from the three point uh, line, thanks to two three point trays by the Ira Cousins. Let's see what the scoring shows. Mundy with nine, Tatum with nine, Wilkes with nine, four for Reese, two for Mo Boardman, and Libby off the bench with eight to lead the, uh, also, uh, she has eight off the bench. So a total of 41 for the Tigers. We've got three Tigers with nine points apiece. Monday, uh, Tatum and Wilkes all starters for a total of 41. The Cardinals have the Dyra Cousins with 10 of the 14 points for them. The two from Emily Hicks, two from Katie Bird, and that's it. The 14 points. Tough first half. Like I say, right spot to Dyra Cousins. Cousins shooting four out of seven from the field, two for three from the three-point line. Yeah, from three points, two for three, and for a total of 10 points. So, Cardinals have Katie Bird in foul trouble. He has three, nobody in foul trouble for the Tigers, but Cardinals down 26 to seven at the end of one. Uh, scored another seven points in the second period, down 41-14, you just really can't keep up with it. You've gotta have more offense than that to keep up, so. 
see what the second half does. Biggest lead of the game was Grace Christian Tigers by 26. The Cardinals have never had the lead in the game. So there you go. Cardinal basketball brought to you by Andrews University. Quality education close to home. Andrews University. Seek knowledge, affirm your faith, and change the world. So the Cardinals down 41-14 the Lady Cardinals to the Lady Tigers of Grace Christian University from Wyoming, Michigan. Listening live from the Andreas Center for Wellness on the campus of Andrews University on AUSA, the Andrews University YouTube channel. So, tough start. Let's see what the guys do in the second game. We've got two more games Saturday night, folks. Saturday night games. It's uh, the University of Cincinnati Claremont in here. Uh, we got a couple of good games there coming up on Saturday night. So, get that schedule for you here. at the upcoming Andrews schedule for you so you can know when to tune into AUSA. Let's see here. Cardinals have taken on uh, University of Cincinnati, uh, University of uh, Cincinnati Claremont is in here on sun on Saturday night coming up here. Seven o'clock game for the ladies, nine o'clock for the guys, and then we have a game on Sunday, a one o'clock game for the Lady Cardinals against Cr Cr Christian Community College of Detroit. We'll be in here at one o'clock at the uh, Andreas Center for Wellness. The ladies at one o'clock, the guys at three o'clock. So we have four games this weekend: two on Saturday night, two on Sunday afternoon. Saturday night games are 7 and 9 o'clock. Sunday games are 1 and 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So a matinee there in the afternoon. Uh, that's the afternoon show. Get the Saturday night evening show coming up here after these two Thursday night games completed, are completed. Guys game coming up next here this evening at 7.30. And the Lady Cardinals down 41-14. They got nine minutes left. In the first intermission of the night, the halftime intermission of the ladies' game. Join us. You're looking at live at a picture on AUSA at the American Center for Wellness. Cardinal basketball night here on AUSA. Every home game on the Andrews University Student Association YouTube channel, live in HD. Also follow the Cardinals at eucardinals.com, athletic department website, or just go to the regular university website, andrews.edu, and then uh, search for Athlet Andrews Athletics. You'll get the website there. They have Facebook, Twitter. Instagram, you can follow the Cardinals. Starts down here at the half, 41-14, and they have several players fighting uh, hamstring problems, uh, a couple of injuries, and 
new players, they didn't even suit up tonight, but they're doing the best they can. Everybody working on trying to hang in there. Starting with a lot of games lately. That's what they're doing, stretching out hamstrings, the trainers are. A lot of, a lot of uh, hamstring problems, it looks like. Looks like some uh, tight hamstrings causing problems. It does not look very fun over there. Uh, getting uh, worked on by the trainer, unfortunately. The Cardinals come out to practice here now, out of the locker room. And the Tigers out of the locker room as well. We got about six and a half minutes till we get underway. And uh, somebody forgot to roll whole, whole balls out there, yeah. And then we'll get those out there thanks to, a, thanks to one of the players doing that. Get the balls out for practice. With six minutes to go there to warm up. Lady Cardinals 14, Lady Tigers 41. Grace Christian University is from Wyoming, Michigan. That's just near Grand Rapids. If you're looking for where it is on the map, central Michigan area, right in the middle of the mid, middle of the lower peninsula mitt of Michigan. 41-14, an easy winter here in Southwest Michigan. Got some rain, a little bit cold and cloudy, but no snow in this half of the state. Most of the snow happening right now, Grand Rapids North, up through the UP. So we dodged the storm today. It just was more of a winter, a rainy, cold outside today but very easy for uh, mid-January for Michigan, I gotta tell you, compared to what you can usually get, so. 522, kind of teams are warming up, except for the uh, Dyer Cousins, who's getting more uh, hamstring work time by the trainers on 40 minutes. Hopefully she'll be okay to play in the second half. Cardinals also has Katie Bird on the bench with three fouls. Uh, she came into the ball game all with a injured eye. Then you have a couple other players that were that had nagging and hamstring uh, uh, throughout the game. We had a couple other ones that were trying to get attention uh, treatment for that. Overfield and Riley Hicks. Cardinals just really played a lot of games in the last couple week or two or three. January's been full of games and starting to take the toll, you know. And right now that's been Issue. Four minutes remaining here in this half time and it's good. remaining in the intermission, so see if the Cardinals come out to start this second half. Michigan. 
got another tournament coming up here on AUSA involving the high school teams from around the, around the, the country will be coming in here to swarm in and visit Andrews University, some local high schools as well as from afar, from afar. And they'll meet for a friendly basketball tournament called the Newmeyer Classic. And we have the championship games of the Newmeyer Classic here on AUSA, uh, January 28th. You can read more about it on the uh, AU Cardinals Athletic Department website. Well, it'll be fun. Uh, it starts on Thursday and then moves into the weekend in January 28th. When they pop. Four championship games will happen. And that'll be all broadcast here on AUSA. Oh, that'll be fun. Tune in. Uh, find out where the talent is in high school part of things uh, as they come visit the university to see if they want to be the next Andrews Cardinals uh, player. You never know. Where you find out what the talent you got all around. Well, Cardinals will look for more offense and look to try to slow down the offense of the Tigers in the second half. And I got to give the Cardinals uh, a lot of credit. They sure keep their heads up despite, you know, the tough situations they have to try to overcome in these games. Cardinals without two players, I don't see Ann Alonso or Taylor Humphrey tonight. And then uh, you've got, like I said, at least four of the eight players tonight have some kind of injury or another. So they are really, you know, I could say, uh, Nursing some injury problems that isn't helping being shorthanded. So here we go out of the out of the intermission now. We're gonna get ready for the second half. <laughs> Cardinals come out with overfield. Let's see. <laughs> Katie Bird in there with three fouls. She's going to start the second half. And then you've got Cousins nursing that hamstring, I believe, problem. And then Emily Hicks. So we're back to their starters as we begin the third period. And here we go. Cousins to bring it up for Andrews, and she travels right away there and that's a turnover for the Cardinals who tried to move left and dragged her foot way too far and 9.50 to go here eight seconds in the Cardinals will be back on D so that's a unfortunate quick turnover for the Cardinals Tigers with the ball, let's bring it to the right. Shot, three-pointer is good by Helmuth. Make it 44-14. Cardinals now with the ball on offense again. Cousins. Links it to Overfield. Overfield with the ball. Inside to Emily Hicks for the bucket. Good class by... Cousins over to Overfield inside. Cardinals brought it down the lane. That was good. 44 to 16 now. Shot in the lane. Up no good by 24 Wilkes. And the Cardinals get the rebound. Bird over to Cousins. Back the other way. Andrews on offense. Cousins swings it right. Overfield. Overfield. Shot up. Off the back of the iron. No good. Almost the rebound. Wilkes the rebound, excuse me, for the Tigers. They go inside to Reese, shot no good. Bird the rebound for the Cardinals. Cardinal ball now. Cousins brings it up. Cousins with the ball on the left side for the Cardinals. Over to Bird, inside to Overfield. Overfield looking for help. And Carey. Carried the ball. No, she got grabbed it on the arm, which caused that. So it's a foul on the bite on the on the uh, Tigers. Cardinal ball. Ball's going to be on uh, number ten, Tatum, her third, team's first. Cardinals re inbound the ball. The uh, right side to Overfield. Overfield. Revis lost the ball in the lane. 
Tigers come out of there out of, uh, with it. They get left in the corner. Shot 24, Wilkes no good. Bird the rebound for the Cardinals, got knocked over by Reese. Foul on Reese for the Tigers. Their second team foul, Reese picks up her second. And the Cardinals have the ball back. Cardinals with the ball. It's Cousins. Cousins left side, overthrew, overthrew Bird. Uh, turnover for the Cardinals. Back to the Tigers now with the ball. Still in the scores, 44 to 16 in favor of the, the Tigers of Grace Christian University from Wyoming, Michigan. Shot in the lane, no good by 24 Wilkes. Rebound goes to the Tigers. They're gonna get another shot at it. Now a foul, no, now a whistle and a uh, offensive foul on the Tigers. Second on number five, Halmuth. Okay, well, third team foul for the Tigers. Cardinal ball again. Cousins to bring it up. Over to Bird. Bird takes the three, and Bird buries the three. Nice shot by Katie Bird. 44 to 19 now is the score. Vikings with the ball now. Tatum back outside. Shot in and out, no good. Loose ball picked up by the Tigers after the miss by Tatum. And drawing the foul was Wilkes. See who the Cardinal foul is on. Waiting for the call. It's on number 40, Rivas, her first, and the team's first of the second half. Cardinals trail the Tigers 44 to 19. Free throw no good by Grace Christian. One more free throw coming up. 24 Wilkes is one for two there from the charity stripe to make it 45 to 19. And Cousins brings it back the other way for the Cardinals. Brings it left to Katie Bird out of bounds off Bird. She lost the handle on the left sideline. Cardinals turn it over. Back to the Tigers go the ball. Six thirty to go, folks, in the third period. Here's a shot by the Tigers, a big three-pointer out there by Helmuth. She had no points in the first half, but she's got five now. Forty-eight to nineteen now, Viking uh, Tigers in the lead over the Cardinals. Cousins back the other way for Andrews on offense down the lane. Cousins can't get it to go though on the shot as she tried to finger roll it in there. She's still really grabbing that. That leg, she is hurting again. So the Cardinals on on defense here. Six minutes to go in the third. Shot up, no good by the Tigers. Bird the rebound. And it'll be Cousins to bring it back down. Over to Bird on the left side. Now they go in the corner to Overfield. The Cardinals with the ball. 15 on the shot clock. Burr Overfield in the lane trying to get it to Cousins, and she is hurting. She could not keep up. She is limping right now, and well, I tell you, she is just not 100%. As the Cardinals give up a bucket there on the fast break to make it 50 to 19 now in favor of the Tigers. Cousins with the ball. Tough to play when you got a hurt hamstring. Bird with the ball, trying for some help there. Has it stolen, and now Bird may have picked up her fourth. And looks like Bird's going to have to come out after that one. I picked up her fourth foul, and with 5-10 to go here in the third, more subs coming in also for the Tigers. 5-10 remaining in the third period. Bird comes out, she picked up her fourth foul. And into the game goes Riley Hicks. Well, Tigers with the ball, leading 50 to 19 over the Cardinals of Andrews University. Here's Libby for three on the left side for the Tigers, no good. Offensive rebound by 24, Wilkes keeps it alive. She'll drive and shoot, miss. Loose ball, Overfield has it for the Cardinals now. 
Back to Cousins. Cousins will bring it up with 4.50 to go here in the third. Cousins swings it left to Overfield. Overfield with the ball. Back outside, right side. Rivas baseline. Rivas cut off back to Overfield. Overfield with seven on a shot. Clock trying to get it into Rivas. Got fouled on the play. Overfield will go to the line. And the first foul, uh, no, second team foul. Uh, no, it's a fourth team foul. I stand to be corrected on the Tigers in the period. First one on, let's see who that foul was on. Uh, they haven't put it up on the scoreboard yet. Anyway, Overfield at the free throw line. Shoots the first one, no good. Second free throw coming up. Overfield, in and out, no good. 15 to 19 still, if there are a pair of misses there, and the Cardinals go back on D with 420 remaining in the period. Shot inside, Helmers with the bucket for the, uh, Wilkes, excuse me, with the bucket for the Tigers. Wilkes got inside there to make it 52 to 19 now. Cardinals continuing to struggle to keep up here. They've had a hard time and they're way behind right now, 52 to 19. Riley Hicks back out to Cousins. Shot up, no good. Overfield got the offensive board and had it knocked away from her out of bounds. Uh, inbound pass coming up to Cousins for the Cardinals. Cousins with the ball in the lane. Didn't have enough legs to get that one up. Ran out of shot clock. Cardinals turn it over on a shot clock violation. And it's the Car Tigers ball now. At 3.35 left in the third. Shot up left side, no good by the Tigers. Whistle on the play. Ball out of bounds underneath the Tigers hoop. Cardinal ball inbounding it to Cousins. Cousins shot by Hicks off the window, no good. That's Riley Hicks with the shot. Now Emily Hicks with the shot, no good. Cardinals can't get one to go here lately. It's 52 to 19 right now. 2.45 remaining in the third period. Another bucket there by the Tigers makes it 55 to 19. Cardinals again turn it over there, so it's back uh, again. Back the ball goes again to the to the Tigers after the Cardinal turnover. 2:23 left in the third, and not much of a Cardinals just can't not much uh, enough uh, to, to fight off the Tigers tonight. There's a shot inside the lane, good, good by 24 Wilkes again. And it's now 57 to 19.
57 to 19 with 128 left here in the third period. The Cardinals down to uh, Grace Christian University Tigers. Tigers with the ball and now we got another shot and a foul this time on the Cardinals. At the line for the Tigers, I'm trying to look and see who that is. I believe it's um, Monday, but I'm not sure. Can't see the number. It is Monday at the line for the Tigers. Second foul on on Riley Hicks for the Cardinals. Their third team foul. A pair of free throws by Monday makes it 59 to 19. The Cardinals are down by 40 right now. Now turnover by the Cardinals trying to make a pass on the left side. Give the ball back to the Tigers again. Tigers with the ball. Libby inside to Wilkes for the bucket. 61 to 19 now is the score. Back the other way come Cousins along the left sideline for the for the Cardinals, just bring it to the center to Overfield. Overfield back to Cousins. Overfield trying to drive, Overfield. Back out, Emily Hicks trying to save it. Uh, couldn't quite get the outlet pass there, but wide of Hicks, Emily Hicks in the turnover. So now, it will be a bunch of subs in as they continue to have the luxury. The Tigers bring in three more players. 26 seconds remaining in the third. And that Vikings with, excuse me, I keep saying Vikings uh, on the tip of my tongue, I don't know why. Tigers with the ball from Grace Christian University as they bring it down. 20 seconds remaining in the third. A traveling call on the Tigers. Cardinal ball on the turnover. We got 20 seconds left here in the third period. Overfield brings it up. Overfield. Overfield goes left to Cousins. Back outside to Emily Hicks. Over to Rivas. Rivas inside. Overfield shot off the window. No good. Cardinals back on D now as the clock runs out. That'll do it for the third period. Well, through three periods, it's the Grace Christian University Tigers 61, Andrews Cardinals 19. So, well, huge deficit going to the fourth quarter for the Cardinals. And unfortunately, they have a big hole to dig out of here going to the fourth period, so. Sixty-one to nineteen. Forty-five seconds left in the third quarter in our third period intermission. Have one more period. Lady Cardinals, one more period here. They got the guys game coming up at 7.30. They'll be playing the Grace Christian men coming up. to 19 to begin the final period of the Andreas and Center for Wellness here on AUSA, the ladies game. And here we go. Tigers have the ball first. Begin the final period. Bring it to the top. Hal moves with the ball to the right. Shot no good by the Tigers, but putback is good by Reese. the miss by 
Not sure who missed that. I think number 10 was with the miss. Tatum. Nevertheless, it was a basket for the, for the, for the Tigers, and they're up 63 to 19. Tigers with the ball, they move Hicks in the lane. Shot no good in the lane. Wisdom battling it out. by the Cardinals. 63 to 19, with 9.22 left in the game. Here from the Andreas and Center for Wellness. Well. <laughs> 63 to 19. Cardinals in a timeout here. Got more on other the guys game up at 7.30 here. Grace Christian University from Wyoming, Michigan. The Tigers in here. Uh, Grand Rapids uh, area. Taking on the Cardinals. Cardinals will be playing two games on Saturday night. One uh, great uh, university, uh, Cincinnati, University of Cincinnati Claremont in here. Take on the Cardinals, 7 o'clock for the ladies, 9 o'clock for the men. Then the Cardinals play again on Sunday. Hey, hey, One o'clock and three o'clock game. Uh, team from Detroit coming in here to play. Shot no good down the lane by uh, Overfield. Cardinals turn it over in the fast break. They're beat down the court and scoring down there is Monday for the Tigers and it's 65 to 19. Cousins brings it up for the Cardinals uh, back the other way. Brings it left to Katie Bird. Bird has it stolen by Almuth. Tigers now down court. The foul called on Overfield. And the Cardinals turn her over and then they couldn't stop the break there. The foul by Overfield. Her check the number of fouls on Overfield. First team foul in the fourth period. At 8.49 left in the game. Wisdom out of the game and it, for the Cardinals. It looks like they brought in Katie Bird back in the game. She's playing with four fouls. At 8.49 left comes back in. 66 to 19 is the score. Shot up to the free throw line, good by Halbos. 67 to 19 now. Cardinals with the ball, and Overfield trying to get it to Bird as it's stolen by Tatum for the bucket on the other end to make it 69 to 19. Cardinals on down by 50 now. With 8.25 to go in a game that's been really difficult to watch as far as it's just tough. You're a young team. It's hard to, you're growing. You've got a lot of injuries right now. Another steal by the Tigers. Stolen away by Halmuth. Coast to coast. Three on two break. Cardinals with a good steal by Riley Hicks to get it back, though. And they're not giving up. The Lady Cardinals don't give up. I mean, they keep trying, but it's just so difficult to, know, insurmountable. Here's Riley Hicks with a shot on the right off the window, no good. Back the other way come the Tigers with the ball. They get the bucket on the other end. It's Halmos with the bucket to make it 71 to 19. Cardinals just having a hard time competing tonight with not enough horses. Not enough healthy horses even. There's a pass inside, intercepted the Cardinal pass. And now two on two break, and another bucket for the Tigers. Tatum, Cardinals going to call timeout now as the as the Tigers were out a barrage of points there to go up 73 to 19. No doubt about it. It's it is uh, hard to yeah hard situation. So anyway, 73 to 19 right now. One minute in the timeout here. Left, one minute left in the timeout. Uh, 
And the Cardinals down 73 to 19 right now. Both teams in the timeout. Today's game brought to you by Andrews University. Quality education close to home. Andrews University. Seek knowledge, affirm your faith, and change the world. So, we're in a timeout. Another game coming up at 7.30. It's the men's game, and then we'll have the second half uh, of that game, and then the final there, and then we'll be done for the night. And then uh, we have two games uh, coming up Saturday night. 7 o'clock and 9 o'clock are the start times. University of Cincinnati Claremont. Then we have a Detroit Christian in here on Sunday for a 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock games. Ladies games are always first and the men second. So a weekend of some serious games and basketball here Thursday night. Uh, then Saturday night and Sunday afternoon. Cardinals bring it down here with seven minutes to go in the game. Bird with the ball over on the left. Loses it out of bounds after trying to get the pass from Cousins. Cardinals turn it over. So back on defense. Vikings with the ball. We head under the seven minute mark. Shot right side, no good by 32 Reese battle for the rebound and a foul underneath on the Cardinals. It may be on. Not sure who that foul's on. That's going to be on Cousins, her second. It's going to be a second foul on Cousins. Second team foul for the Cardinals and 6.50 to go in the half, or in the game, excuse me. The Vikings at the free throw line. It's Tatum to shoot. Tatum with a ball. 6.53 left in the game. And in 73 to 19 right now. And the free throw is good by Tatum. Tough game. Six fifty-three remaining in this one. A couple free throws, no good by Tatum. Still 73-19. Battle for the rebound goes back to the Tigers, and they get another chance. And Tatum gets the feed from Reese, who got that offensive board after the miss. And sorry, they get another chance. There's a lot of second-hand shots they've had tonight. 75-19. Cardinals now rebounded. Wisdom with the ball on the right goes inside. Ball knocked away, stolen by Tatum. Down court. Missed the shot though, but put back behind her for the offensive board and put back as Wilkins. Wilkes, I mean, to make it 77-19, and that's the story of the game right there. The turnovers by the and the second chance points by the Tigers, and the Tigers just haven't been able to get anything going in the stat department. Here's Bird with the ball, give and go to Emily Hicks down the lane over to Rivas. Now, now stolen away by 24 Wilkes, who goes coast to coast for the bucket. Make it 79 to 19. Cardinals in danger here. Oh, well, in danger of, well, they're not in danger, they're in danger of another loss. I'll put it that way. 79 19. Hicks, uh, Hicks with the ball, Emily Hicks after the pass from Bird shoots and misses. And right back getting the rebound. It's a timeout now by the Tigers after the rebound by Reese after the miss by Hicks. And it's, five, it's a 79 to 19 game and a timeout by the Tigers with 5.28 to go. It was a very short timeout. They were making some substitutions. So here we go. Inbound pass now goes to Tatum. Tigers with the ball, and they have a huge lead, 79-19. On Cardinals, unfortunately, unable to stay in the game tonight. Three-point shot up, no good by Reese. But so the Tigers goes out of bounds. It'll be Tiger ball, or Cardinal ball now. Tigers with the miss. Reese misses the three-point tray. 
79-19, five minutes to go. Grievous in the lane for the Cardinals, dumps it back to Cousins, takes a shot, couldn't get it to go. Tigers with the ball again. Four and a half to go in the game. Shot up and in and out, no good by the by the Tigers. Missed by number one, Genty. For the Tigers, Cardinals with the ball now. Bird left side. Inside to Revis. Revis going to go to the lane, shoots and draws the foul. Cardinals are going to shoot here, looking to get some points. Foul on the Tigers, 32 with the foul. It's Reese or third as we get another sub in. Borgman into the game for the Tigers. Revis set the line to shoot a pair for the Cardinals. With four and, a, four and 20 to go in the game. Hard, not much to cheer about, but one thing you can cheer about is the Cardinals, they just don't ever give up. They keep trying, they your heads up, they keep good attitude as far as good sportsmanship. 79-19, first one is no good by Rivas. Second one up, no good. 23, Morgman the rebound for the Tigers. They bring it down, Gentry with the ball. Swings it left to Libby. Back to Gentry over to Reese. Reese with the shot, in and out, no good. And the ball goes out of bounds off the Tigers. Cardinal ball. We're at the four minute mark left in this one. Four minutes remaining, folks, uh, in the ladies' game. And it's 79 for the Tigers of Great Lakes Christian and 19 for the Cardinals, Lady Cardinals. Wisdom with the ball on the right. Inside, Emily Hicks takes a shot. Up, no good. Gentry the rebound for the Tigers. Plays it left. Libby for three, no good. Battle for the rebound, and it goes out of bounds. Let's see, it's going to be a foul called over the back on 23 Borgman, I think, for the Tigers. Yep, picked up for second, team's second. Cardinal ball with 3.35 to go. 3.35 to go in this one for the ladies game. Cousins with the ball. Cousins working it. To the left, the bird. Bird gets it inside. And good move in the lane by Emily Hicks for the bucket. Emily Hicks with the score. A tough one there inside. To shoot the three-point play for the Cardinals. They now make the score 79 to 21. Emily Hicks to shoot here. Big free throw here. Shot, no good. Uh, Hicks at the line. Tigers with the ball. Tigers bring it up. Swing it left in the corner. Again, another three, no good by 32, Reese. Loose ball picked up by the Cardinals over there. We had Katie Bird along with Cousins running it down. Cousins brings it up, brings it right to Wisdom. Over to Emily Hicks for the shot. Yes, Emily Hicks with another bucket for the Cardinals. 79-23, Cardinals with a little offense there. Good job, 2.45 remaining in the game. Tigers with the ball now, Cardinals on D. Left, Libby with the ball inside to Reese. Reese double team, dribbles in the lane, dumps it back out, shot up, no good by Boardman. Back the other way, the Cardinals get the ball. With the Cousins with the rebound, brings it up the right sideline. Brings it to the right side to Wisdom. Two and a half to go, here's Hicks with the ball, top the key with the shot, no good. Reese the rebound for the Tigers. Gentry brings it down, swings it outside to Helmo, Hel Helmos. Back out Gentry, takes the shot, she's short. Emily Hicks the rebound for the curve. Two minutes remaining in the ladies game. Cardinals 23, Tigers 79. Cousins for the ball, swings it left. Bird goes up the three, can't get it to go. Tigers with the rebound. 
Gentry on the right sideline, bringing it down, gets it to Livy for the bucket. No, she missed the shot. Got her own board, though. Put it up and in to make it 81 to 23. Yeah, one of those results tonight that have happened a lot where the Cardinals can't stop that offensive uh, you know, second chance of the Tigers, which has led to a higher percentage of shooting for them. And a timeout by the Cardinals here with a minute 23 to go as they make some uh, uh, substitutions. Going to get Kuda uh, pinned back in the game. Hold on. Check again for the Cardinals, and Rivas comes out. Got a minute 23 to go. Cousins with the inbound, brings it up for the Cardinals. Cardinals with the ball over to Kudapin on the right. Kudapin trying to drive. Cut off. Goes back to Bird. Bird with the ball. Six on the shot clock for the Cardinals. Bird. Back outside. Wisdom is swinging left. Cousins inside. Hits. And they ran out of shot clock. The Cardinals did. They were trying to work it. They couldn't find the shot. So it goes back to the Tigers with a minute to go. 81-23 to score. What about over with. The Cardinals will fall to one and I believe 10 on the season. They, they, they are playing shorthanded tonight. Reese down the lane, good. 32 Reese with the bucket for the Tigers to make it 83-23. Final 45 seconds. Differential 26 on the shot clock. Cousins to the right to Wisdom. Wisdom to Hicks. Hicks in the lane, draws the foul with 32 seconds to go. And Emily Hicks is over the line. It's going to be on Reese, her fourth, I believe. And the shot clock is off, and now we're going to get a sub in. And Reese coming out, Mundy coming in. That was five fouls. I stand to be corrected on Reese. She fouls out with 32 seconds remaining in this one. We'll go off on that one, and Reese fouls out. So here's Emily Hicks now. And, uh, Free throw line for the Cardinals. Nothing's come easy tonight. They've had a hard time. They're down 83-23. And Hicks with the free throw, no good. Missed the free throw. So one more free throw coming up for Emily Hicks. 32 seconds left in the game. So two-second shot clock. Shoot shot clock differential with two seconds. Hicks mixes them both. Tigers have the ball. A two-second shot clock differential here. As they just run it down, Helmuth with the ball way up top. They're not in a hurry here. They're just going to let this run out. I think the final score is going to be 83-23. They're just holding the ball all the way down. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Four on the game. Uh, three, three, two, one. And that's like the, that was a good sportsmanship. The Tigers take the shot clock violation and leave the Cardinals with a minute, I uh, will leave the Tigers with a 1.5 seconds on the clock. And they're just probably going to run this out. And that's going to do it. The final score is the Great Lakes Christian College uh, Tigers 83. Uh, and the Grace Christian, I mean. The Grace Christian University Tigers 83. They're from Wyoming, Michigan. The Tigers uh, win at 83-23 over the Lady Cardinals tonight. Tough game for the Lady Cardinals. We're going to get ready for the men's game coming up next. Uh, Cardinals uh, team was full of grip, and they tried, but they were, uh, uh, just didn't have it tonight to keep up. So we're going to be taking a little bit of a break here for a minute. Get ready for the men's game. So don't go away. Listening to Cardinal basketball on AUSA. <laughs> Give you the quick stats of that uh, first game. Say 20 points for Wilkes, 17 for Tatum, 17 for Mundy, 6 for Reese, 13 for Libby, 2 for Borgman, 8 for Helmuth. Total, uh, and, and, uh, total of 83 points for the Tigers of Grace Fishkin. Cardinals were led by 10 by Nadira Cousins. She had all those in the first half. Eight for Emily Hicks, five for Bird for a total of 23. So the Cardinals 
only 18% shooting in that second half, and they just couldn't, couldn't do it tonight. They had three injured players, plus two that didn't even suit up, and it showed tonight. So anyway, we'll see what they can do tomorrow night, or uh, excuse me, Saturday night, when they play at seven o'clock against the uh, University of Cincinnati Claremont. So second game coming up here, the men's game now. Grace Christian University Tigers, Andrews Cardinals.
Well, getting ready for the men's game here on Cardinal Basketball on AUSA, the Andrews University Student Association YouTube channel, AUSA. Ladies fell short this in the opening game here against Grace Christian College, Grace Christian University. Tigers from Grand Rapids area. They're from Wyoming, Michigan. And the Lady Tigers were able to come in and defeat the Lady Cardinals. So now it's up to the men's team to at least gain a split here tonight. Grace Christian University Tigers and your Andrews three-time USCAA national champion Andrews Cardinals tonight. Seven o'clock, uh, uh, 7.30 start here, excuse me, about nine minutes away. So the Cardinals and the Tigers on AUSA brought to you by Andrews University. Quality education close to home, Andrews University. Seek knowledge, affirm your faith, and change the world. Cardinals are gonna start uh, three guys from Darien Springs tonight. Uh, Caleb Braswell, number three. Uh, Magabi Banani, number two. Max Dronin, number 32. Number 15, Andre Creighton, and number one, Jesse Franklin. Starting tonight, uh, Creighton from Nashville, Tennessee, Jesse Franklin from Cleveland, Ohio. So those are the five Cardinals slated to start tonight. Ryan Bondrapowski, the head coach of the Cardinals in his second season. Logan Steffes and Willie Lewis are the assistants. Grace Christian University Tigers from Wyoming, Michigan in here. And they will start tonight with number four, Ty uh, Theo, a junior from Rockford, M Michigan. Uh, number five, Parker New, a uh, junior from Traverse City, Michigan. Number 10, Eli Carlson from Kent, Michigan, a sophomore. A sophomore from the state of Maryland, number 12, Barkley Zomari. We'll start for the Tigers and rounding out their lineup will be, uh, starting lineup will be number 13, Kellum Bridgeforth, a senior from Grand Haven, Michigan. The coach of the Tigers is Ryan uh, Crombing. Uh, and the assistants are Zach Shuttle, uh, Sh Shuttle, Shuttle, Greg Ensley, and Terry DeJong. Shalette, Ensley, and DeJong are the assistants for the Tigers. So there you go. We're starting at about seven minutes. Cardinals warming up. Tigers warming up. It'll be a little bit, and then we'll be underway at the address and center. Uh, for wellness here on the campus of Andrews University here in Barron Springs, Michigan. Don't go away, Cardinal basketball. We have two more games on uh, uh, Cardinal basketball on Saturday night. University of Cincinnati Claremont in here for a seven o'clock game for the ladies, nine o'clock for the guys. Then a Sunday matinee uh, coming up this weekend. A one o'clock game for the ladies and a three o'clock game for the men against uh, uh, Detroit Christian. Uh, so there should be, there'll be more Cardinal basketball coming up on AUSA, a lot of action. So about six and a half minutes will be underway with our open exercises and introductions, and then we'll be playing our second game tonight.
We are underway from the address and center for center for uh, wellness on the campus of Andrews University. Cardinals win the tip, and they are underway against Grace Christian University from Wyoming, Michigan. And a tired Cardinals hit the first bucket of the game. A nice fadeaway shot on the right side by Jesse Franklin. Cardinals up 2-0. Now a first chance on offense for the Tigers. Let's see what the Cardinals have to say about it. Top the key with the ball, Bridgeforth going to the left side. We got 15 on the shot clock. Fail mm -hmm. away left side, no good by Theo. Put back, no good again, this time by Bridgeforth, and the Cardinals get the rebound. Manani quickly back the other way for the Andrews Cardinals. Back outside, Creighton for the shot, in and out, no good from top the key. Back the other way come the Tigers now with the ball. Mm -hmm. Tigers go inside and a new, Parker New into the lane, draws the foul. And that will bring the Tigers to the charity stripe. Let's see, check the foul. It's going to be on Creighton, his first, the team's first. So here we go to the free throw line for the Tigers. In the opening moments of this one, Cardinals and Grace Christian University from uh, Wyoming, Michigan. The Tigers, and they get the free throw there. It's two to one is the score. The Cardinals in the lead at the moment. And a pair of free throws there at the line. 
for number five, Parker New, the junior from Traverse City, Michigan. All right, Milani brings it back up the right side over to Creighton for the Cardinals, 22 on the shot clock. Creighton with a ball, trying to drive, goes down the paint. Right-handed shot, block, got it back and put it in. A strong move by Andre the Giant Creighton. <laughs> and it's four to two with 8.33 remaining in the first half. Cardinals back in the lead. Back the other way now. On defense, the Cardinals drive into the lane by the Tigers in and out, no good. Manani the rebound. After the miss by Bridgeport, Cardinals on the other side. Can't get the bucket to go in there. The miss by Manani. Back the other way. Quickly, quickly fast moving game here. Tigers take the shot left side. No good by New. Covering up the rebound, Manani. Fast break, Andre Creighton to the bucket. On the other end of the Cardinals, go up six to two. Go up by a four spot here early on. Good start out of the gate by the Cardinals. And they have never trailed up six to two. Not a bad start. Barkley's O'Meary with the ball. They swing it all the way around to the right. Here's the shot by Bridgeforth and a three-pointer out there. Narrows the Cardinal lead to one, six to five, as the Tigers score. Manani back quickly the other way for the Cardinals over to Creighton. Creighton looking for some help over to Manani. Back and forth, they play catch with 15 on the shot clock. Inside. Manani, shot, no good, got his own board. Back out left corner, Braswell. Braswell cut off, goes to Franklin. Franklin now loses the handle as he tried to go left and now turn over on a fast break. Oh, on the other end, and losing the ball with the Tigers. Creighton gets it back for Andrews over to Franklin. Cardinals get a break there as a give and go inside the lead. Shot up and go! by Max Dronin as he made a beautiful move in the lane on the, on the show and tell, and it's eight to five. Back the other way come Grace Christian, and they score right there inside by Parker New to make it eight to seven in a very <laughs> back and forth battle here early on. The Cardinals maintaining the lead so far. They're up eight to seven. Frank one with the ball, left side, looking for help to Creighton, takes the shot, good, and Andre the Giant Creighton. Here's a giant uh, contributor tonight with six points for the Cardinals. Back the other way, and it was a shot inside the lane, no good there by Bridgeforth for the Tigers. Cardinals bring it back with Dronin, bringing it back the other way. Cardinals covering up the boards on the defensive end well. Franklin with it now on offense for the Cardinals. Stay side to Creighton again. Andre Creighton and timeout Tigers. It's 15-55 to go first half. And Andre the Giant Creighton, the Giant man tonight. He has eight of the 12 Cardinal points and are up 12 to seven. Cardinals out of the gate, red hot right now here at the address. And 12 to seven, oh my. Where did that come from? Andre Creighton showing some stuff tonight. 12 to 7 early on, and the Cardinals open up with a lead. Let's see if they can keep the crowd in it here. Timeout by the Tigers. 12 to 7, Cardinals. They are running on all cylinders early on, especially Andre Creighton. 12 to 7. With 15.55 left first half, and the Cardinals. Boy, I tell you, they come out of the gate really looking good right now. My, oh my. As the Tigers inbound, they'll bring it full court here. Don't see anybody subbed in yet. I'll double check that in a few minutes. Looks like it's uh, Br Bridgeforth bringing it up for the Tigers. Swings it to the right to o Omari. Now they go down low, now back out to Parker, or Eli Carlson for the shot, no good. Offensive rebound put up and good by Thiel. And right there, they got a second-hand shot to go in and made it 12 to nine. Cardinals still up in the lead. Here's Manani down the lane, who lost a handle. And now a turnover resulting in a fast break in the Cardinals. Um, well, a missed shot down there, but again, the Cardinals give up the bucket down low to Thiel. And it's just like that, a full run by the Tigers. That timeout worked to their good as they've narrowed the Cardinal gap to 12 to 11. Cardinals in the lead by one. Braswell with the ball on the right side. 
Swings it to the middle to Creighton. Creighton down the middle of the court and down the middle of the lane. Shoots and misses, but Manani right there to put it back up and in for the Cardinals who still maintain the lead. They're up 14 to 11 now. With 14.50 remaining in the half. They continue to maintain the lead to Samar. Bridgeforth with a ball up top. Brings it left to Carlson. For the Tigers, they go right, ball and three, and by Theo misses. Braswell, the rebound, brings it up for the Cardinals. Braswell with a ball, looking to dribble right, dumps it back top to Key. Creighton in and out, no good. And new the rebound for the, for the Tigers. They go to the left corner now to Omari. Tigers with a ball, 20 on the shot clock. Bridgeforth with it now, gives it in the lane, lost and stolen away by, by Manani, but then Franklin trying to get the break going, it's knocked off of him out of bounds on the left sideline and the Cardinals turn it over. So, well, what a hustle though by the Cardinals. And there's some subs coming in now for the Tigers. And I gotta check who they are. Looks like um, Frazier into the game now for the Tigers. Frazier in as well as Roberts off the bench. Here's a three on the right, no good by number four. Theo, offensive rebound and put back, no good by Roberts. Braswell now gets the board for the Cardinals. Cardinals have to not give them so many uh, you know, chances there on the offensive end, but they did get the rebound there. Braswell passes, ball stolen away now by the Tigers. The steal by Omari, they go in the corner to Frazier, he drives the baseline, gives it up to uh, Theo for the three-pointer on the left sideline to tie the game at 14, and there's our first tie of the game, or third tie of the game, and the Cardinals, I shouldn't say first tie, third tie of the game, the Cardinals have led two out, but now they gotta work on keeping it right here. Dronin with a ball, tries to go down low, and he throws it away out of bounds. He was trying to hit someone on the baseline, and we're gonna get a timeout by Coach Vanderpowski here with 13 minutes remaining in the half. The Cardinals did have a 12 to seven lead and now it's tied at 14. So they've been outscored seven to two here in the last few minutes. So they want to talk it over and uh, we'll take a minute to say this game brought to you by Andrews University. Quality education close to home. Andrews University, seek knowledge, affirm your faith and change the world. Well, you're listening to Cardinal Basketball here on AUSA, the Andrews University Student Association YouTube channel. Always every home game in H HD uh, on AUSA. Just go to the aucardinals.com uh, athletic department website, get information there, or andrews.edu. You can uh, search for the athletics uh, department on the, on the uh, university website, get more Cardinal information. Cardinals have two more games on Saturday night, seven o'clock game uh, and a nine o'clock game. Ladies at seven, guys at uh, men at nine. Un university of Cincinnati Claremont in town to take on your Cardinals. And then a Sunday matinee this weekend, uh, Detroit Christian in here. Cardinals ladies at one in the afternoon and the men's play at three. So there's a lot of Cardinal basketball coming up here in the next couple of days. And right now we're tied at 14 here at the Andreas and Center of Wellness, Center for Wellness. Um, and beautiful uh, facility. And the Cardinals are tied 14 all with the Tigers from Wyoming, Michigan, the Grace Christian University. 14-14 tie as the Tigers bring it up out of the timeout with a chance for the first time tonight to, to try to get the lead. And with it is Frazier, he dumps it to the right to Roberts in the lane. Roberts kicks it back out. Let's see, it's Bridgefork with the ball now. Well, they go cross court to Omari, inside the lane, good pass, and it results in a bucket by Roberts to give the, uh, the to give the Tigers their first lead of the game, 16 to 14. Well, Cardinals have work cut out for them here with 12 and a half to go in the half. Now they're down for the first time by two. Here's Manani swinging it left to um, the first sub in the game for the Cardinals. Actually, the Cardinals have several subs in there. Jones is in there, as well as, um, let's see, 33, Timmy Duato in the game now for the Cardinals. Yep. 24, Abaya Newton, I should say. And that's not J Zane Jones. That's Abaya Newton in the game for the Cardinals. So you got Newton and uh, 
Newton and Delato checking in. Cardinal ball coming in on an inbound. 15 on the shot clock. He got Dronin with the ball out to Creighton. Creighton trying to go into the lane, tied up. Jump ball and it's gonna go over to the Tigers. Roberts tying up Creighton and I think one thing that the uh, Tigers are realizing is that they have to key on Creighton right now. And Franklin coming back in for Manani now for the Cardinals. No subs at the mile. Yeah, they did bring in a sub. 44 in the game now for the for the Tigers. That's a York into the game. So some subs from both teams. Cardinals on D here. They go to Bridgeforth out up top. He takes the jumper and hits it. And now the biggest lead of the day for the Tigers, 18-14. The Cardinals outscored now. Um, 11 to two here lately. And a shot by Franklin on the left, no good. Creighton the rebound back to Dronin running out and from Dronin missing and then Delato couldn't quite get the rebound there. Roberts got it for the Tigers who now have a four point lead and have the ball with 11 and a half to go in the half. Tigers go to the corner, shot no good by Frazier. Put back another offensive board this time by York for the Tigers and now a loose ball goes out of bounds. It's 15 on the shot clock and still belongs to the Tigers. Cardinals having a hard time getting some boards there on this defensive end. Got to slow down that offensive rebound. Here's the inbound to Roberts for the bucket and Cardinals didn't do much to stop that one unfortunately. Now they're down by six, 20 to 14 in a 13 to two run now by the Tigers. Cardinals got to stop the uh, bleeding here. Here's Newton with a ball. Newton, top the key for the Cardinals with 19 on the shot clock, stole it away by the Tigers. And on the other end, Roberts lays it in. And it's now a 22 to 14 lead, an eight point lead for the Tigers after the Cardinals had led 12 to seven, had a five point lead. And now here's Newton with a shot left side. Cardinals can't get it to go. And boy, the momentum sure changed there. At the moment, they had it going and then the momentum change. Here's a shot by the Tigers. No good on the right sideline by Omari, and now they got a whistle and a foul on the, the Tigers in the backcourt. And Carter, Cardinals are going to get the ball back here on the foul by number 44. 44 York called for his first, team's first. Cardinal ball is. Looks like Newton going to bring it up for Andrews, and they really need to get some points here. They've only scored two points in the last five minutes. 22 to 14 is the score right now. Fifteen to two run. Here's Franklin. Now we got a whistle on offensive foul on Franklin. Trying to get the ball down the baseline and pitch it back out to Dronin. He ran into a couple of Vikings there on the baseline, picks up his first foul, team's second. And we got subs, more subs now for the for both teams. It's like for the Cardinals, Caleb Joseph checks into the game. And Manani's back in. And I didn't see, oh, oh, I gotta catch up with the sub. And that's like number 10, Carlson back in for the Tigers. Tigers with the ball, Omari. Omari inside the lane and a shot in the lane by, by 44. Breaking through Omari with a good pass and uh, York, is that York? I gotta double check that. Yeah, it was 44 York, the sophomore from Millington, Michigan. Boy, what a run here by the Tigers to really take command of this game. It's now 23 to 14 after that, 24-14 uh, after that, 25-14, excuse me, I get it, get it right here, after that three-point play, so. Cardinals led at 12 to seven, and now they trail 25-14. They only scored two points in the last six minutes. So whatever the adjustment the Tigers made really has made a big difference. And now another whistle now at the end of the play here with 11 seconds on the shot clock for the Cardinals. A defensive foul on the on the uh, on the uh, Tigers. It's on number number one. That's on number one. His first, fouls on Roberts. 9.40 remaining in the first half. Inbound to Joseph. Cardinals with a ball, dump it out. Franklin with the shot, can't get it to go. 
And Manani saves it, gives it to the Cardinals again. 18 on the shot clock. Manani shot no good. And now Delato had the rebound, and he lost it out of bounds. Still Cardinal ball at 15 on the shot clock. Can't, uh, they're trying. They just missed three shots in a row there. They just got to get something in. They can't get it in the cylinder right now. And boy, they really need some points here to get back some momentum. Boy, I was excited there for a minute. They had a 12 to seven lead, but that timeout adjustment by the Tigers. There's the inbound of uh, Delato, and he's tied up. Now York and Delato tied up together, and that's going to be a jump. I think belongs to the Cardinals. So the Cardinals are going to retain possession with 13 on the shot clock. Here's Joseph to bring it in. Joseph with the ball over to Newton. Newton looking for help. Newton trying to drive. He does. Dumps it back out to Joseph. To Tebby Delano for the shot. Can't get it to go. And the Cardinals again had about four or five times to get the ball in there. Couldn't do it. Now fast break down the other end. And Newton saves the day, knocking it out of bounds. Uh, timeout by the Cardinals here with 9.04 remaining in the half, and I gotta say, they have only two points the last six or so minutes or so, at least. They just need to find their offense again, and the other, you know, they're down 25 to 14, they're well still in this game, they just can't afford any more, any more of this to happen. Otherwise, it would get out of hand. And that would make it harder to come back. So, timeout on the court at the address and center for wellness. Race Christian University, Tigers 25. Your Andrews Cardinals 14. Title basketball here on AUSA. Cardinals had the early lead, but the, the, the Tigers took command here halfway through the first half and have built a now, 13-point lead on the Cardinals. The Cardinals that led 12-7, uh, to 7, uh, had a five-point lead, their biggest. But after that, the wheels came off a little. Here's the inbound now. Carlson with the ball. 44 now, York with the ball, back outside to Roberts. Or uh, not Roberts, that's uh, Roberts with the ball now, but uh, keep forgetting. So fast, the Cardinals, there's a pass inside to York for the bucket for the Tigers to make it 27 to 14. Zero is Frazier, he was the one that had the ball earlier and knocked it down there, got it to Roberts and then to York for the bucket. So I ran a little behind there figuring out who's who. Here's Newton with the ball over to Delato for the Cardinals to Joseph. They got 10 on the shot clock and they're needing some points. Now they turn it over on the steal by by Frazier, with a bucket on the other end. And it's now 29-14 as Timmy Delato scores for the Cardinals. Make it 29-16, to Cardinals needed that, but now they need some D here. Got eight minutes left in the half on the Cardinals down 29-16. to Still looking for some, uh, a streak of points here. Cardinals on D, 15 on the shot clock. Frazier with it, goes to the left, dumps it to the corner, shot no good by number 12, Omari. Cardinals get a bucket on the other end with good hustle by Newton and Franklin. Make it 29 to 18 now. 11 point game, three pointer left side, no good by York. Cardinals get the rebound. But, uh, Manani, he's gonna go to the rack and score there. Good move by Mugabe Manani for the Cardinals and now it's back to a nine point game. 29-20, that's, we need more of that with seven minutes to go in the half. Cardinals making a comeback here after being down, being down by uh, quite a bit and get it back to single figures. 6.50 on the game clock, 11 on the shot clock for the Tigers, they work it down low and they, Get it down low to uh, to Roberts, who's been hard to defend down there. 6-5 player, scoring there to make it 31 to 20, back to an 11 point lead for the Tigers. Newton takes the shot, top to key, can't get it to go. Manani battling with York, almost got the steal, but didn't quite do it. Two on two break for the Tigers now. Tigers in the lane, toot it to the corner. 
to Frazier, back outside, shot in and out, no good by Carlson. Car Manani saves it to Newton. Cardinals now have the ball. Newton pushing it, gives it up to Delato in the lane, couldn't get the shot to go. That was a good pass from Newton to Delato. Back the other end, shot up, no good. Uh, and a fast break by Omari, but he picks up the foul. Cardinals commit the Cardinal foul there. And then that'll put number 12, Omari, Barkley Omari at the line, the sophomore from Maryland. We'll shoot a pair here coming up for the Tigers who lead by 11 and back and get a chance to go back up by 13. Six minutes to go on the half. Cardinals in the game. It just, well, that a big streak of points by the Tigers and that really, there's another basket from the free throw line there. 12 point game now. Here comes Creighton back in the game along with Braswell and back with Max Gronin into the game for the Cardinals. A big switch there after that free throw. Also some, a couple of people in for the Tigers. If number four checks in, at Steele. Okay, for the Tigers. So here we go, Cardinal ball. They're down by 13 again, 33 to 20. I think their late, biggest deficit was 14. I, I can't quite remember though. But anyway, 5.55 remaining in the half and the Cardinals have work to do. Here's Dronin at the top of the key. Dronin over to Creighton. Creighton losing the handle, then, oh, it's stolen. Uh, he had it and it knocked away. There's a fast break attempt by the Tigers, but it's intercepted by Creighton. Over to Dronin, to Manani. Cardinals with the ball, 25 on the shot clock. Back to Joseph, can't hit, uh, just missed a shot. Can't get it to go. Back the other way come the Tigers now. Shot in the corner, no good by Carlson. Put back though is good underneath by Bridgeforth. Oh, I think it was Steele, my bad. And now biggest lead of the night for the Tigers, 35 to 20. Cardinals just, all of a sudden the wheels came off a bit and uh, the, the young team, they had a nice enthusiastic 12-7 lead early, but after a timeout, the Tigers went on a run and we haven't been able to stop that. It's 35 to 20 right now, unfortunate. But, well, the Tigers are, 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 are a tough team and the Cardinals are resilient though. Let's see what they can do with it. See what they can do with it here out of the timeout by Coach Vondrakowski. Plenty, plenty of time to come back in this one. They left the whole second half and five minutes of the first half. So they has got to play some tough D and cut down on the second-hand shots by the Tigers. Try to see what they can do here. Here comes Joseph to bring it down for the Cardinals. Joseph with the ball, flings it right to Manani. Manani with it, inside to Creighton. They've been really putting the D on Creighton. That time he tried to work inside, couldn't get the bucket. Made a nice move, but just a little bit off on the shot. Cardinals turn it over, back on D now. 13, Bridgeforth with it, swings it back to Thiel. Shot in the lane, good. 35 to, now it's 37 to 20. Cardinals seeing this deficit get larger. Here's Manani. Yeah. And that's the problem, the Cards have gone ice cold from the field, now a fast break and they go, can't let that happen. Somebody get, give up an easy bucket to Thiel there, they could not get down on D. And the Cardinals down now by 19 all of a sudden. This game getting, slipping away, 39 to 20 at the moment with 4.20 to go in the half. Well, oh, I tell you, and now we got a whistle and a ball out of bounds as Cardinals turn it over again on the right sideline. Raswell trying to go to Creighton, and we're going to get a sub into the game now for the Cardinals. 14, Reitman getting ready to come in. Yep. Reitman checks in with 4.25 to go in the period for Braswell. Cardinals trying to get something going here. A little, little bit of uh, momentum switch, and it's not switched back, <laughs> unfortunately for the Cardinals. Bridge Fork brings it up for Grace Christian University. They get it inside. Number five, New, swings it to the left sideline and a three-point bucket by Carlson. Keeps the problem and a steal in the backcourt now by, the, by Carlson after that. Carlson having a little backcourt problem there. Joseph brings it across the center line. They recovered from that. They get it to Dronin over to Reitman. Reitman over to Joseph back outside Creighton. Got Zane Jones in the game, down the lane. Oh, and he tried to get it out to, 
to Joseph, and the ball intercepted, and on the other end, Carlson goes coast to coast. Boy, really, the wheels are really spinning here. The Cardinals now down 44 to 20. Wow. Boy, tough, tough situation. Here's Creighton with a ball. Creighton diving in. A star move off the window, can't get it to go. All of a sudden, the bucket is, they've not been able to get one to go. Quickly back the other way. It's a three-point shot for the uh, Tigers. No good by Theo. Cardinals get the rebound. Fast break, other end. Jane Jones missed layup. Tipped in by Reitman for the bucket to make it 44-22. Good hustle. As Whiteman gets the basket, Cardinals get a bucket they needed there with 2.50 to go in the half. Here's, right, uh, here's uh, Bridgeforth with the ball, swings it outside. They go down low. So, go down low. The ball is blocked out of bounds by the Cardinals. Good defense there. That was great D by the Cardinals right there. 44 had a shot there right at the hoop, but York had his shot blocked out of bounds. At least 12. The white men over there along with, with, with Joseph and Zane Jones made a good play on that left side of the defense. 44-22, Cardinals check in uh, Dronin now and Delato. And Dronin gets the rebound there after the Tigers miss. Fast break down to Delato for the bucket. Baskets gonna count on a three-point play for Timmy Delato, who made a good quick move down court and drew the foul. So Delato, it's 44 to 24. I tell you, enthusiasm by the Cardinals, and they try hard ahead or behind. And they go to the line, Timmy Delato here to shoot the free throw. 44 for the Tigers, 24 for the Cardinals. Cardinals need some points here. They really need some points. 44 to 25 if he can hit it. Really would be nice to get a, a free throw here for the Cardinals. And a shot no good by Delato. Theo brings it down for the Tigers. Inside the lane, shot up no good by Roberts. Rots Frazier, I think. That's Frazier, I think. Let's double check. That's Frazier, I was right, going to the free throw line after picking up the foul by Jane, Zane Jones, his first, team's fifth. We got 2.19 left in the half, and you would have never known it, but the Cardinals just, uh, they, had a, they would have never known uh, the momentum they had early on because it just, uh, it's like a light switch. I mean, they were up 12 to seven, doing well, and then suddenly it just, a uh, big change, and the Cardinals, boy, uh, Tigers just, just threw it at him, and it was now it's 46 to 24 after those free throws by Frazier. 46 for the Tigers, 24 for the Cardinals. Jones with the ball, back outside. The Cardinals have uh, somebody else off the bench. Ashner O into the game for the Cardinals. Now a whistle and the. And we got a foul called on the Tigers. We'll send Dronin. Is that number five? Yeah, it's a fifth team foul. So I think Dronin's going to go to the line here for the Cardinals with two minutes to go in the half. Two minutes remaining, first half. Grace Christian University, Tigers 46. Your Andrews Cardinals 24 right now. Free throw no good by Dronin. And, you know, they were shooting so well with Creighton and et cetera early on, and then suddenly they just can't hit a shot here uh, very much. Oh, it's very difficult to get anything to go in. And uh, they've got to try to reverse that in the second half. There's a good free throw there by Dronin. He was fouled on the three-point shot, so he's going to get one more. 46 to 25. The foul was on number 10, Carlson, his first. Their team's uh, fifth team, uh, fourth team foul. Shot up and good. Dronin gets two out of three to make it 46-26. Cardinals with 155 to go in the half. Still has a chance here to whittle away at this uh, Tiger lead. Down the lane and drawing the foul is Theo for the Tigers. Uh, who's that on? Timmy Delato? Well, the Cardinals try to hold him out of there, but they commit the foul. And uh, Delato is going to be on 32 of uh, 
That's 32 at the foul. It's going to be on Dronin, his first. And that will send uh, Thiel to the free throw line for the Tigers, who are already up by 20 after trailing by five through the first part of that first half. Now all of a sudden, going on a huge run. There's a missed free throw right there. It helps the Cardinals. Got a minute 48 left in the half, and the Cardinals have a lot of work to do in the second half. They'll have to really talk strategy, get their offense going again. And a lot real promising early on, but uh, then it quickly uh, slipped away there. It's one for two from the line now by Theo, makes it 47-26. So Jones bringing it down for the Cardinals. Jones over to Reitman. Right, Reitman with the ball, top to key, looking for help. Over in the corner he goes to uh, Ashner O. Ashner O with the ball, now it's loose. Stolen by the Tigers now, stolen back by the Cardinals. Ashner O to the, goes for the drive, missed a shot. Delato with the rebound, he misses, and the ball goes out of bounds off Delato now. Cubs had three chances at it there, couldn't cash in. Offense just not coming to him easy here. 47-26 with 1.15 to go in the half. Cardinals trail the Tigers at the moment. After a enthousiastic, real enthusiastic start into the lead, and they stay enthousiastic all the time. They play hard, but then uh, the Tigers really poured it on. They made it some adjustments that really made a difference. There's another shot that goes in by Carlson for the Tigers. That was a three to make it 50 to 26. Cardinals down by 24 now, the biggest deficit of the game. With final 50 seconds of this half running down. Delato with a ball. Delato inside gets it to Reitman, has it blocked. Loose ball picked up by the Tigers. Richforth, back out Carlson. They go in the corner and a traveling. Uh, no, he stepped on the line. Roberts, Frazier, or Roberts, it was Roberts that stepped on, uh, Frazier, excuse me, that stepped on the line for the Tigers. Cardinal ball with uh, 36 seconds to go in the half. And they're down 50 to 26. Shot clock differential, seven seconds. Play the game clock and the shot clock as we come down. Zane Jones over to Dronin. Dronin double teamed, has it taken away by Carlson. So well, yeah, they're getting some defense on them. The Cardinals are, and it's what's made the difference. The more aggressive or more effective D by the Tigers have led to their lead, and they have a very comfortable halftime lead. Final 10 seconds for the first half. The Tigers holding it right now. They're up 50 to 26. Roberts, <laughs> Frazier, and Misses the shot, gets his own rebound, missed shot, and the clock run, the time runs out of the first half. So finally, the time runs out there mercifully. Uh, the Cardinals can uh, regroup in the second half. And end of one half of play. At the end of one half of play, it's your Andrews Cardinals 26 and the Tigers from Great Christian University 50. 50 to 26 ball game as we go to the half. Frustrating for the Cardinals after having an early lead of 12 to seven. And then I don't know what, uh, just the offense went to sleep and well, just couldn't hit a shot. And then their defense was left hard on their defense and the other team made some adjustments and really shut the Cardinals down in that last seven, eight minutes of the, uh, or more, uh, it was about the last eight, eight minutes or so of the uh, second half, uh, the second part of that first half. So. Tough game, game got away from them, and uh, now they're down big at the half, so it's gonna be a big mountain to climb. And uh, unfortunately, the Cardinals have to make a huge comeback if they're gonna win this one in the second half. We'll get the halftime stats to you here in just a few moments. Cardinal basketball brought to you by Andrews University, quality education close to home. Andrews University, seek knowledge, affirm your faith, and change the world. Well, we'll see where the stats show the problem. And the Cardinals hit C, yep, I could tell. Yep, well, I mean, they're shooting 35% from the field, 12 out of 34, but it was a lot better early on. But here's a telltale, 0 for 7 from three-point land, 2 for 4 from the charity stripe. Cardinals out rebounded 29-28, so that's pretty even. But where the problem is, is uh, you know, 41% from the field for the Grace Christian team, they've also hit eight out of nine free throws, and, but they're only four out of 15 from downtown from three-point land. But they uh, they really came on in that uh, 
in that late part or the, well, the second part of the first half. Cardinals led by five and now trailed by, by, a, by a 24 points. Score was tied twice, changed, lead changed only one time. Let's look at the scores in this game. Theo with 12 leads the way for Grace Christian. Eight for Parker, uh, Eli Carlson, excuse me. Seven for Bridgeforth, seven for York, six for Roberts, four for Frazier, two for Omari, one for, let's see, uh, let me go back through that again. I'm gonna double check it, because I think I messed up. 12 for Theo, four for New, eight for Carlson, Omari with uh, two, Bridgeforth with seven, four for Frazier, six for Roberts, and seven for York for a total of 50. Cardinals with 26 points. They got eight out of Andre Creighton. They all came early on in the first several minutes of the game. He was red hot. But then they started double teaming him and they just lost the momentum there. Four for Franklin, four for Manani, four for, for Max Dronin, and two for Rice Reitman, four for uh, Timmy Delato for a total of 26. So, unfortunately, the Cardinals find themselves in a big hole here at the half, 50 to 26. More Cardinal basketball coming up in the second half. We hope it's a better half for the Cardinals. And uh, anyway, tough after a great start for the first part of the first half. Cardinals, tough second part of the first half. Well, more games coming up Saturday night. Seven o'clock game for the ladies. Nine o'clock for the men. It's uh, University of uh, University of Cincinnati Claremont in here. And then uh, we got a matinee on Sunday. A couple of Sunday afternoon games. Cardinals taking on Detroit Christian. A one o'clock game for the ladies. Three o'clock for the guys. We have had a load of Cardinal games both of the last two weekends. So and. Uh, Anyway, so far in this game, uh, the Cardinals down 50 to 26, the men trailing uh, here in this game. So we'll see what happens in the second half. Don't go away, more Cardinal action coming up. And we, we hope that the second half, the Cardinals can make some kind of comeback. Teams are brought in uh, their food there to watch the second half. Like the ladies' teams are watching the men's teams here. About nine minutes to go in this halftime intermission. The Cardinals uh, trailing the uh, Grace Christian University Tigers from Wyoming, Michigan, just around on Grand Rapids. That's where they're from. And second half hopefully will be better for the Cardinals.
Yeah, no, you ought to get a Fitbit. You probably have like nine million. Oh, you do have one. You probably have like over a million steps a day, right? <laughs> 14, anywhere from 14 to 20,000. Wow, I haven't come close to that yet. I just got one trying to figure it out. I mean, when I'm out here, I'm in murals and whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah you, you make your bear all the time, bro. Let's just set it high. I see. Yeah. You don't get that many steps when you're on a snowmobile, though. <laughs> Actually, sometimes oh, when you're oh, on oh, a oh, bike, oh, well, that's true you do. You get a little credit there. <laughs> yeah. 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 Got uh, some snowmobile uh, fans here hoping for some snow here in Southwest Michigan. And, uh, got the athletic trainer there. Uh, you know, she really moves around. Uh, a lot of work to do. She. Uh, getting the water to the players, how we can sure everybody's okay, and uh, Stacy, athletic director uh, Wildridge, and uh, the athletic trainer Stacy, um, busy people. As we were saying earlier, Wildridge there, he working hard, both women's coach and the athletic director, and then, of course, you don't want to forget about Richie Seeley, he's the gymnast, he helps out here. He had a lot of, they put in a lot of time and effort. So the Cardinals at the half trailing the Great Lakes Christian College, uh, Great Lakes, uh, Great, uh, Grace Christian, let me get it straight. The Cardinals trailing Grace Christian University Tigers 50 to 26 here at the half. And everybody coming out of the locker room now as we get ready for the, for the second half game. Yep. Second half coverage. Teams warming up about five minutes away from second half coverage here on AUSA. Andrews University Student Association YouTube channel. All games are live in HD on YouTube. Home games are also put up later after they're done live. You can watch them at your viewing pleasure. See what the Cardinals have in the, uh, have in the arsenal for the second half. They really need to do something. They're, they're down 50 to 26 here, folks. Second half, we'll see if they can get Creighton going again. Or at least get some offense from some end of it. Cardinals rolling up to my right in their red and uh, white jerseys, and over there it's Grace Christian, uh, Grace Christian University Tigers in their blue and black jerseys with the white trim. Second half coverage coming your way here on AUSA. Cardinals trailing 50 to 26 here at the Andreasen Center for Wellness on the campus of Andrews University, hoping to make a second half comeback. That's what they're hoping. Hopefully, hopefully. Everybody warming up. And the 
whistle sounding, and that means we're almost ready to start. Cardinal basketball, Cardinal basketball brought to you by Andrews University. Quality education close to home. Andrews University, seek knowledge, affirm your faith, and change the world. Getting ready for some second half coverage here from the Andreas and Center for Wellness. Cardinals need some instant points, and they need some good D, and try to make a comeback is what they need here in the second half. They're down 50 to 26, halftime score. Andre Creighton leading the way for the Cardinals with eight points. He had those all early on. Kind of really reminiscent of the ladies game. Early on, you know, you had the Naira Cousins with 10 points. Cardinals then just fell way behind and, uh, you know, did not, unable to come up with a victory in the first game. And then the men had an early lead and it just slipped away here in the second part of the first half. And now they're down big and they need, they need some help here. They need to put their head together and come up with a plan here to dig out of the trench here. 50 to 26. See what they can do. Yeah, any kind of strategy we'll see coming right out of the gate here. 138 left in the intermission. Folks, this is going to be second half here, folks. All ready to begin. Basketball's put away for practice, and they're getting ready for the real thing. 50 to 26 is the game, and my camera person trying to make their way back in time here. They'll got 30 seconds before the tip. Plenty of time. And all right, here we go. Fifty to twenty-six. Cardinals will have the ball first. Let's see where it goes from there. Andre Creighton inbound the ball for the Cardinals. Carlson with the defense for the Tigers, and here comes Manani with it. First possession of the second half for the Cardinals over to Franklin. Franklin with a ball up to Braswell. Braswell over to Manani. Manani cut off, drives it, gives it to Bra Braswell. Missed a good opportunity there, and the rebound goes to the Tigers. Cardinals had a good look at it. Cardinals definitely had a good look at it there. Omari with a ball now for the Tigers. Back outside to New, Parker New swings it to the right to Omari. 15 on the shot clock for the Tigers. Shot up good by Bridgeforth, no good. Battle for the rebound, Braswell has it. And the Cardinals get it back over to Dronin. Dronin now pops the three from the left side, no good. Ball out of bounds off Manani looking for the rebound, but couldn't quite get it for the Cardinals. Well, it's two, two uh, shots in a row by Andrews to begin the second half, and they couldn't get either one to go down. There's been a lid on that cylinder for a while now. Or it's been difficult anyway to get one through for the Cardinals lately. Tigers with a ball. Omari, top the key, takes the jumper good. And the first basket of the second half belongs to the Tigers. They're up 52 to 26 now. Here's Manani over to Creighton to Braswell for the Cardinals. Braswell with it. Braswell looking for some help. Looks like Swings it all the way to the left side to Franklin. Franklin with the ball, top the key, Ronan, 12 on the shot clock, back to Manali, over to Creighton. Creighton's pulled way out beyond the arc, over to Braswell. Braswell's gonna throw the three from the right side, no good. Tries to run it down in the corner, but runs out of real estate, and he's out of bounds, so. Cardinals again fail to score, 52 to 26. That's what they need is points, instant points. As it 
look like Amaya Newton getting ready to check in for the Cardinals. Bridge, Bridge were a fourth, bringing it up for the Tigers. 52-26 is the score. Tigers of Grace Christian University in the lead. Down the lane, the drive by New. Parker New with the bucket. Beats the Cardinals down the lane to make it 54-26. So right now, full run by the Tigers to begin the second half. First two minutes of the second half in the books. Braswell way up top over to Creighton for the Cardinals. Creighton driving the lane, uses the window, can't get it to go. Cardinals still yet to score in the second half. Bridge fourth, the rebound for the Tigers. Heavy pressure put on by Manani. Still able to drive in. Oh, he misses the shot, though, and the ball goes off the Tigers out of bounds. It'll be Cardinal ball. Good hustle by Manani and Franklin down there, along with Creighton on D. And now here comes uh, Maya Newton into the game. And it looks like, let's see who's coming out. Manani coming out for the Cardinals. 17 and a half to go in the game. Franklin bringing it up for Andrews. Looking for, they're still looking for their first points of the second half. You go left to Braswell. Inside, Creighton for the bucket. No, he missed the shot, but drew the foul. Well, the Cardinals just can't buy one. But Creighton works inside and draws the foul. So let's see if they get one from the charity line. Down 54-26, and uh, it's a full run second half by the Tigers at the moment. 17 and a half to go in the game, and we got a timeout on the court here by the Cardinal. Uh, well, no, the Cardinal's congregating on the left while apparently Creighton shoots the free throws. He missed the first one, I think, there. They were blocking my view. Yep, he missed them both. I tell you, they just can't buy one. Even from the charity line there, tough, bit of tough business. Cardinals now two out of six from the free throw line today. Seven minute, 17 minutes left. Omari with the ball outside to Carlson. Carlson in the corner, they go to 12. Uh, Omari for the shot is good. Another bucket for the Tigers, a 6-0 run right now, and they built a 56-26 lead now. 16 and a half to go in the game. Here is Dronin to Creighton who misses the shot. Cardinals get the rebound to Newton, but he stepped on the line. And that's a turnover. He tried to save it, but stepped on the line. So it's going to be Tiger ball again. And right now they're way ahead, 56 to 26. These two games tonight, very similar to each other. The ladies were in it early on, and then all of a sudden the Tigers ladies team did the same thing. They turned it on in the late part of the first half and then just moved away ahead and took over and put it away in the second half. And there's a shot no good right there by the Tigers. And it goes out of bounds, a traveling call as well. And the Cardinals are gonna get the ball back here, so. Cardinals are going to make their move quickly at 16 minutes to go if they're going to do anything here to make a comeback. So, you know, they're, they're playing with good you know, behavior and attitude and sportsmanship, and they're trying very hard. Young team learning, and here's Dronin with a ball for the Cardinals now. Top to key, Dronin will shoot. There we go! Just inside the three-point arc, and 56-28 now is the score. Dronin with the bucket. Cardinals get a nice shot out of Dronin there. Bridge fourth back down, trying to go down low to New. Ball stolen away by the Cardinals. Good defense by Dronin. Hits Timmy Delano over to Braswell for the bucket on the break. Cardinals make a good defensive play on one end and offensive transition on the other. 56 to 30 now is the score. Here's the shot inside, no good by Thien. Uh, Thiel, I mean. And Dronin, the re uh, Delano, excuse me, the rebound for the Cardinals. Oh, good pass to Franklin. Back to Dronin for three, can't get it to go. And had a good look. They're gonna call Delano for the foul, going for the offensive rebound after the miss by Dronin. Well, the Cardinals had something going there for a little bit. But, I don't know, Franklin passed up a pretty sh short range shot to dump that out for the three. But, well, Dronin was also open. Yeah, they had their shot at it there. Now the Cardinals have to play D again as Bridgeport brings it up for the Tigers. 56 to 30 right now is the score. Race Christian University in the lead. 
Shot in the corner, in and out, no good by Omari for the Tigers. Cardinals get the rebound. Laswell, they go over to Newton. Newton in the lane, shoots, and gets it to go. Nice play by uh, Mari Newton to make it 56-32 now. Good play by the Cardinals. And Delato with the steal almost on the other end for the Cardinals out of bounds, leaving 22 on the shot clock for the Tigers. And now Manani back in, comes in for Franklin for the Cardinals. 14 and 48 left in the game. This uh, Tiger ball underneath the Cardinal hoop with 22 on the shot clock. 14.45 left on the game clock. Inbound pass underneath, no good on the shot by Parker, Parker New, excuse me, with the miss. Here's the lotto, oh! Manani tried for the dunk and missed it. Well, missed the shot there, and the ball goes down the other end. Timmy Delato with the foul. Car Cardinals bringing up the intensity a little bit now. Trying to make a comeback or trying to do something. I love their enthusiasm. But anyway, 14.30 to go in the game. Now almost a dunk there by Manani, but he couldn't quite get the job done. Came up a little short. And we're going to time out on the court. With the score, Grace Christian University 56 and the Andrews Cardinals 32. Now just make a little music there with some ag aggressive play and up-tempo play there in the last couple of minutes. I'll score the Tigers in that little streak and that's what they can do out of the timeout. We'll see the Cardinal basketball out of USA. Fifty-six to thirty-two is the score. Fourteen minutes and thirty seconds remaining in the game. Out of the timeout, it'll be Tigers' ball underneath the Cardinals' hoop with. 25 on the shot clock. They inbound it all the way out to Omari, swinging it in the corner now. Let's see, that's number 10 Carlson with it. Down the baseline to Bridgeforth. Back in the lane they go. Turn around, feel with the ball with the shot in the lane. Makes it 58-32. Good ball movement by the Tigers. Cardinals quickly back down. Braswell with it. Tigers are able to give and go to Delato for the bucket. Oh! I thought he had it, it went all the way around the rim, wouldn't go in. Ah, oh, what a bummer. Now it's 58 to 32 still. Seal with the ball, swings it out left to Bridgeforth for the three. And boy, 5-0 run just like that by the Tigers. 61-32 is the score now. Manani with it over to Braswell. Cardinals back on offense. Braswell looking for help. Now he jumps it inside. Newton and he's fouled underneath. Well, Newton had a shot right there and made it a little harder than, I don't know, he went up for it, kind of drew the foul anyway. And then he'll shoot two. Fouls on number four, uh, Theo, his second. No, his first. No, they change it. Yeah, Theo's first, pardon me, team's second. And here is a buy at Newton on the line for the Cardinals. And he gets the first free throw to go. Full fifth, 61 to 33 now. One more free throw for uh, Bayan Newton. And more subs now back in. Roberts and Frazier come off the bench for the Tigers. Roberts and Frazier have been a big uh, uh, attribute and contribution from the bench tonight for the Tigers. And they, Newton misses the second free throw. And the ball knocked out of bounds. Let's see. They're saying that the ball belongs to the Tigers here. 13-37, good on the game. Cardinals back on D. And it's uh, Roberts with the ball, swinging it out to Bridgeforth and back to Omari. Inside the lane, Frazier back in the corner again. 19 on the shot clock. Bridgeforth for another three-pointer to make it 64-33 now. The Tigers just shooting real, really much better uh, as the game has gone on. Here's Delato with a nice, 
The pass inside to Manani for the reverse layup, 64-35. Roberts with the ball, Frazier with the ball, back outside. Frazier in the lane, shoots it up. Missed by Roberts. Hoggles get it back. Manani has his uh, long pass stolen by Bridgeport. And now the ball goes out of bounds uh, against the, boy, well, that's a hard, out of bounds against the, uh, boy. That was a tough hit that the scorer's table took, and I don't know if that damaged the scorer's table. That's probably one of the hardest hits I've seen the scorer's table take. And they're checking the damage. I think it got damaged a little. Yep, it did, a little bit. That's too bad. Well, they're looking at the damages there. There's a shot by Ronan missing the shot. For the Cardinals, now out of bounds. Tigers brought it down and it's out of bounds off the Cardinals on a good defensive play. Drone and followed that down and knocked it out. Tough break for the Cardinals uh, on the scores table. It took a direct hit and uh, I have really, here's Bridgeforth to inbound for the Tigers now over to Frazier. Bridgeforth with it on the left side. He's been a hot shooter at the moment. You get it inside to Frazier. He has it stolen away by Manani for the Cardinals. Cardinals down court all. Manani trying to go to Drone and turns it over with a pass on the right sideline. What a Cardinals unfortunate turnover there. Got 12 minutes left in the game. And it's 64 to 35 as Franklin comes back in for the Cardinals. My oh my. 12 minutes left in the contest. Cardinals 35 and the Tigers 64. Bridgeforth with the ball, bringing it up for Grace Christian. Defense put on by Manani. Manani trying to stay on Bridgeforth. Now trying to stay on Omari. Omari with the ball. Back outside. Drive into the lane, shot no good by Bridgeforth. Good block by Creighton. And the Cardinals get fouled at midcourt. Raswell getting fouled there, trying to dump it. But he got fouled as he tried to get it to Creighton. So a foul on the play. And that will send the Cardinals to the sideline to inbound here. That's the thir third team foul on the Tigers. Number one on Omari. Here's Manani now to bring it down for Andrews over to Creighton. Creighton over to Newton. Newton inside, takes the shot, no good. And the Cardinals back on D again with 11 and a half to go in the game. In the corner, three-pointer by the Tigers is good. Omari, Tigers starting to hit some three trays. They're up 67-35, that's the third one lately. Manani back the other way for the Cardinals. We're now down 67-35. Newton top the key. Newton looking for help. Oh, has the ball stolen away by Frazier. Back the other end. Good block by Newton on the other end to save it for the Cardinals. There's still 24 seconds on the shot clock for the Tigers, however. At 10 and 55 to go, and I'd say the Cardinals have a hole to dig out of here, but they, you know, they don't, they don't give up. They keep trying. Never give up. There's the inbound now. Number 12, Omari with the bucket for the Tigers on the inbound on the shot in the lane. 69-35 now. Cardinals just slipping a little farther behind there, folks. Newton with the ball, gets the pick from Creighton in the lane, cut off. Tries to go cross court to Braswell, does. Nice throw for the back pass by Braswell to get it to Manani for the bucket. 69-37, cute little pass there. 69-37 with 10 and a half to go. Right, Bridgeforth bring it up for the Tigers. Dumps it right side. It's Frazier now with the ball. Frazier in the lane. Frazier juking in the lane off the window. No good. Creighton the rebound for the Cardinals. Creighton now looking for help. Swings to the left sideline. Franklin. Franklin driving. Cut off. Looking for help. 20 on the shot clock. Goes way back out to Manani. Right side, Braswell. Cardinals with 15 on the shot clock. Braswell, heavy pressure. Dumps it over to Newton. 
Newton with a ball. Newton looking for help. Left side, Franklin with a jumper in and out. Loose ball picked up in a, by picked up by Omari for the Tigers. Fouled in the process by Newton, and the Cardinals commit the foul. The Tiger ball is uh, looks like uh, we got Max Dronin getting ready to check in for the Cardinals now. The Tiger ball. That's the second foul on Newton. Third team foul on the Cardinals, and we got a stoppage of play here as the Tigers get ready to inbound full court. Bringing it up will be Frazier for the Tigers. Frazier with a ball, dribbling top the key. 20 on the shot clock for the Tigers, tries to juke into the lane, dumps it back. It'll be Frazier for the shot. Frazier, uh, Roberts from Frazier, I made a mistake. It was Frazier who dumped it back to Roberts who hits the shot. And that makes it 72 to 37 and a timeout by the Cardinals now with nine and a half to go in the game. Now the Cardinals falling, falling, falling behind and they just can't get, keep up with the hot shooting of the Tigers here. Same thing happened in the first game. Just the ladies game was the same kind of situation, but I don't know, 72 to 37 right now. Tigers from Grace Christian University in the lead over the Orr Andrews Cardinals, 72-37. Cardinal basketball brought to you by EUSA, the Andrews University Student Association YouTube channel, live at HD on YouTube. Go to eucardinals.com for the website for the athletic department to get all the information, or andrews.edu. You can go to the university website and search there. You also follow the Cardinals on Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, and Instagram. And all the tar uh, Cardinal action brought to you by Andrews University, quality education close to home. Andrews University, seek knowledge, affirm your faith, and change the world. So Cardinals in a deficit here, and uh, they've got a little time here to see what they can do with the rest of this one. 72-37, they trail as we go back to the floor with about nine minutes to go. Cardinals come out with Dronin, Franklin, Creighton, Braswell, and Manani. I think that was the starting lineup. Boy, they led early on and had some momentum, and they were up 12 to 7. But then the wheels came off, and they just lost the momentum and could not regain any offensive uh, tempo. Here's the inbound to Franklin. Cardinals with the ball. Franklin trying to go down the lane. Trying to look for help now. Dumps it back out, it's been cut off by York over to Manani. Back top to Key Braswell. Braswell with a Franklin. Franklin looking for help now at 14 on the shot clock. Inside to Braswell. Braswell shaking in the lane, dumps it back. Franklin baseline, out to Manani. Left sideline, Manani the jumper, and in and out, no good. And, well, there you go. Roberts down the other end along with Frazier for the Tigers, stolen away by Braswell. Two on one break for the Cardinals. Manani misses the shot, draws the foul. Cardinals will have to do it from the charity stripe now with 8.50 to go, and that's where they're gonna have to get their points right now. Two point shot, two free throws coming up from the free throw line on the charity stripe for Manani for the Cardinals. A little under nine minutes now left in this one. Well, up and, oh, missed the shot at the free throw line. Cardinals could even, you know, it's just really struggling even from the free throw line tonight. It, uncharacteristic. Usually shoot a little better. They should definitely shoot better than this. And Manani gets that one to go. One for two to make it 72-38. Quickly back the other way to come the Tigers. Tigers with them all. Frazier with it, heavy pressure by Manani. Knocked out of bounds by Manani. 19 on the shot clock, good defense. Manani holding tough. 8.35 left in the game. Still Tiger ball with 19 on the shot clock. York with the ball now on the inbound, gives it back to Frazier. Frazier over to Carlson, all the way across the court to Omari, top the key. Top the key, Frazier, now they swing it to the corner, inside the lane, York, and York loses the handle out of bounds, it was knocked out by Creighton, the Cardinals still have to defend for four more seconds on the shot clock for the Tigers. 
Underneath the hoop, the Tigers have the ball. Inbound off the inbound, and boy, Frazier gets the inbound pass. And, well, no, Roberts gets the inbound pass to score for the Tigers. I don't know what happened there. The Cardinals just didn't follow that inbound very, very uh, crisply. 74-38 now, Cardinals with a ball. Manani in the lane, missed the layup, got his own rebound, missed again. Oh, man. Now in the backcourt, Manani gets a good D. Trying to get the steal. Almost, almost got the steal. Now Franklin does get the steal because of Manani's D over to Braswell. Braswell in the lane, shoots and scores for the Cardinals to make it 74-40. Good defensive effort there by the Cardinals, Manani, to get that ball. He may have missed two shots down the other end, but boy, he played some oil to D there to make up for it. Here's York in the lane, trying to go to Frazier, or Roberts, excuse me, and he overshot him. Roberts, and now on the other end, it's offensive foul on Dronin for the Cardinals. He was trying to get in the lane, and fortunately, Dronin runs into the Tiger player, and now we're going to get a sub into the game. Ripple Carlson coming. Carlson. Carl, Carson Ripple coming into the game, number 14 for the Tigers. Cardinal ball, or Cardinals on D, excuse me, with 7.28 left, and we got a Baya Newton coming back in now for Manani. Cardinals down 74 to 40. Tough matchup tonight. Here's a long pass by York. Oh, he gets a touchdown pass, and he's able to get it to Roberts for the bucket on the other end, who just beat the Cardinal D just by a millisecond. Now it's 76 to 40 on that one. Cardinals with the ball on offense again. Braswell long three in the corner gets it to go. 76-43 on the three-point trade by Braswell. Seven minutes left. York with the ball for the Tigers. Swings it back outside. Frazier left side, York for three, no. Offensive rebound, no. And put back, miss by Carlson. Cardinals get it back. Braswell with the ball. In the corner to Dronin, who tries to save it, knocks it off the Tigers out of bounds. Still 20 seconds on the shot clock for Andrews. Six and 42 left in the game, 20 on the shot clock, and the Cardinals down 76 to 43. We get Timmy Delato coming back in here for the Cardinals. Here's Creighton cross court to Dronin for the long three. Can't get it to go. And with the Cardinals go back on D now. There's a shot by Frazier that goes in for the Tigers to make it 78-43. Jumper from right side of the key. Braswell goes into the lane for the bucket on a good drive. On the other end, the equal out for the Cardinals. 78-45 with six minutes to go in the game. They get back the other way for the Tigers is Frazier. Frazier with the ball. Inside, Roberts. Give and go to Frazier. Back out, shot, and a good one by Carlson for another three for the Tigers. Now 81-45. Well, these two Tiger teams from Grace Christian have really put on a clinic tonight on the road. Nice pass by Franklin for the Cardinals down to Newton for the bucket. And Juan Vonderpowski will call timeout, the coach of the Cardinals with five and a half to go. And it's 81 for the Tigers of Grace Christian University. 47 for your Andrews Cardinals. You're listening to Cardinal Basketball on AUSA. Well, tough night for both teams, it looks like, against the Grace Christian University visitors. Cardinals coming up short in the ladies' game, and it's not looking good in the guys' game now. Maybe it'll do better tomorrow night. Maybe it'll do better tomorrow night. They've got two games tomorrow night. Right uh, now, nah, I make the correction. they got two more games uh, Saturday night. Got to get my act straight. Two more games coming up for the Cardinals on Saturday night. Uh, University of Cincinnati Claremont in there, and then uh, Detroit Christian uh, in the weekend uh, s Sunday games, 1 o'clock and 3 o'clock. There's your Cardinal games coming up on AUSA. Games on Saturday night and Sunday afternoon on AUSA this weekend. More Cardinal action, so tune in 
7 o'clock Saturday night. The ladies play Indiana, they'll play the University of Cincinnati Claremont and the guys at 9 o'clock. So, out of the timeout with 5.40 left. Cardinals down 81-47. And let's see, it'll be the Tigers' ball. And up to the court, oh, the Tigers with it. Frazier holding the ball with 26 on the shot clock, 5.30 left on the game clock. Now they swing it back out to Carlson, back inside, give and go in the lane. And shot no good by Roberts. Cardinals defend. Newton midcourt breaks through, loses his footing. This ball picked up by Franklin over to that was a Franklin for the bucket. It was Braswell that got it to Franklin for the bucket. 81-49 now. Cardinals some good D there. York with the ball and the timeout now by the Tigers with five minutes to go in the game. And it's 81 to 49 right now. And a timeout on the court with five minutes to go in the game. Cardinals basketball, and we're going to get um, Ashner O back in the game pretty soon here for the Cardinals. Down the lane, turnaround shot, no good by number 14, Whipple, for the, for the Tigers. Newton the rebound, back down court, gives it to Franklin, back out to Braswell. Shake and bake, finger roll in the lane, Braswell no good, but right there is Timmy Delato for the bucket for the Cardinals. And Delato shaking up a little there, but he's hustling back. It's 81-51 now after that bucket by Delato. Tigers with the ball, Whipple with it, swings it back out, 14. Whipple got the pass from York, and the ball goes out of bounds off the Tigers, or off the Cardinals. So Ashner O comes in the game for the Cardinals. Franklin goes out, 20 on the shot clock left for the Tigers, four and a half left in this game. Inbound pass, oh, almost there. Cardinals dodge one there on the miss by well, that was a miss by number 12, Omari. Other end, Cardinals turn it over just beyond midcourt. Quickly back the other way is 14 Whipple with it. Now dumps it into Omari, over to Bridgefort, back out. Omari, not Bridgefort, Omari gets it to York and we got a whistle and a foul on the Cardinals. Looks like the Cardinals commit the foul, Let's check the foul. Yep, 33 to Waddle picks up his third. It's still 20 seconds on the shot clock and an inbound. And now Braswell with the foul. And on the inbound, Whipple is fouled. He'll go to the line for the Tigers. Two quick Cardinal fouls. They now have six team fouls. First on, well, check how many it is on Braswell is first. It's 81 to 53, the Tigers in the lead and they have Whipple on the line. Yeah, the first free throw, no good by Whipple. We got four minutes left in this game. 81 to 53 is the score. The Tigers are way ahead of the Cardinals here in this one. Unfortunately, here the Cardinals unable to do much at home here tonight. There's one for two for Whipple from the line for the Tigers. It's 82 to 53, four minutes to go. Cardinals had something going early on, I'm telling you. The first six, seven minutes of the game, they were ahead. But just like the ladies game, same kind of a replica of the game. There's a good shot in the lane by Newton for the Cardinals. 82-55 now is the score. Five, five, 350 the remaining. Good, Cardinals on D. Here's Whipple down the lane, shoots and misses. Offensive rebound by the Tigers. Omari, and then he turns it over trying to dump it back to Carlson. Cardinals are going to get it back with 3.40 to go. 82-55. And bringing it down will be Braswell for the Cardinals. Braswell over to Newton. Playing catch beyond the arc. Brings it to the corner. Zane Jones back in the game. Gets the ball there over to Ashner. No, that's uh, Abaya Newton. Back out to Braswell. Braswell with the ball, brings it out. Newton, Newton trying to shake and bake. Four on the shot clock, loses the dribble out of bounds. Heavy D put on there by 44 York of the Tigers and a timeout on the court by the Tigers now after that Cardinal turnover. 
We've got 315 left in this one. It's the Grace Christian University Tigers 82, the Andrews Cardinals 55. You're listening to Cardinal Basketball on AUSA. Well, two very rather similar games tonight. The Lady Cardinals close early on, but then all of a sudden the Grace Christian uh, University ladies was started to move quickly and moved way ahead and never looked back, and they won big in the opener, and now the guys' game turned out kind of the same way. Guys in the early lead early on, and then it just slipped away the momentum for the guys' team, and uh, Cardinals men's team and uh, they've been trailing and fighting to try to get back this whole game. They're down 82 to 55, three minutes or so to go in this one. From the address and center for wellness here on the campus of Andrews University. Unfortunately for the Cardinals, they are gonna come up short in both games tonight. They'll have to tune in on Saturday night to see if they can get a win there. It's the University of Cincinnati Claremont will be in town. 82-55 to score. Uh, uh, coming out of the timeout with just a bit over three minutes to go. Here comes the inbound, and it's inbounded. Tigers with the ball. Roberts. It was the inbound pass. Now they got it over to Omari into the lane for the bucket. Back to Roberts, who scores there. He's been big off the bench for the Tigers. 84-55 now is the score. Under three minutes to go. Braswell over to Newton. Newton with the ball back to Braswell. Over to Newton. Newton to Jones. Jones looking for help. Inside the lane to Newton for the bucket. Good ball movement by the Cardinals. 84-57 now is the score. Two and a half to go in this one. Well, Mari with the ball, swings it over to Whipple. No, excuse me, that's not, that's not Whipple. That is Whipple. On top the key with the ball for the Tri Tigers. Gives it back to Carlson. Carlson drives into the lane, shoots and misses. Braswell the rebound for the, for the Cardinals. Braswell comes up with it, gets it down the lane, shoots Jones, got it to Jones in the lane who missed the shot. Tigers with the rebound, Whipple back the other way over to York. York with it. Two minutes remaining in this one. The outcome rather obvious. Uh, Whipple with the ball now, back outside. Roberts over to York. York driving in the lane, blocked by Newton. Good defense, gives it to Braswell on the two on two break from Jones. Braswell and Jones, Jones had the shot at it on the break, missed the shot. Back come the other way on the miss, York for the Tigers. Minute and a half to go, and that kind of spells the situation. The Cardinals just could not get the shooting going well enough to make a difference tonight. Now we got a foul in the corner offensive on Whipple of the Tigers, I believe, and the Cardinals are gonna get it back. He's trying to get position underneath the hoop. Too much contact, and Cardinals will get it back with a minute 27 to go, down 84-57 here. Raswell comes out. Whiteman comes back in for the Cardinals. Got a minute 25 to go in this one. Cardinals are gonna lose a pair here at home tonight. Here's Whiteman in the lane on the pass from Ashner O. Back to Ashner O in the corner, tried to save it, did to Delato. Delato now dumping it in to Zane Jones. Missed a shot, but a tip in by Delato. What effort by the Cardinals there. They worked all over the place to get that basket. Gotta love the effort by the Andrews Cardinals trailing, but still playing hard. 84-59, now Jones fouling at midcourt, so the Cardinals commit the foul with a minute to go, sending the Tigers to the free throw line. Carlson to shoot. Got a minute left, it's the Great Christian University Tigers 84, the Andrews Cardinals 59. Shooting two, Carlson, after the foul by Jones, his second. Team seventh, five team fouls on the Tigers, both teams over the limit for a while now. Let's see what uh, Carlson does from the charity stripe. Hits the first one, 85 to 59 now. One more free throw for Carlson here. 
Got a minute to go on this one here from the Andreasen Center for Wellness. And a pair, nope, he missed, him, he missed the second one. So, and the lotto, the rebound for the Cardinals, gets it over to Caleb Joseph, who just came into the game. Back out, Ashner, all over the shot, in and out. Oh, that was too bad. He had that good, good effort there. Well, final minute of the game, 85-59, Tigers with the ball, Carlson right sideline, over to Frazier. Now with the Roberts, I mean, not Frazier, Roberts. Now they swing it to Whipple. 12 on the shot clock, 31 on the game clock in seconds. And the Cardinals still playing hard D. Ashner O out there on Whipple, and he commits the foul. Got to love the aggress aggressive and up-tempo play and just effort right to the very end. 25 seconds to go in the game. Ashner O picks up his first, team's eighth, and Whipple goes to the line for the, tri for the Tigers. It's 85 to 59. There's 25 seconds left. That means the shot clock is off the rest of the way. And a couple free throws here by Whipple, and he gets the first one to make it 86-59. We're just trying to figure out what the final score is going to be, and we know the Tigers are going to win this one. They win a pair tonight, ladies and men's team of the Great Lakes Christian College Tigers come in here, get both games from the Andrews Cardinals, and a pair of free throws by Whipple make it 87-59. Final 25 seconds of the game, folks. We're here from the Address and Health and Wellness Center. Address and Center for Wellness, they call it. Astro with the ball, top way up right side, looking for help. 10 seconds to go. Drives, gets cut off, tries to shoot. Gets fouled on the play with eight seconds to go, and he'll go to the line. Trying to, trying to figure out the final score here. Don't forget to tune in to Cardinal Basketball on Saturday night. Seven o'clock game for the ladies, nine o'clock for the guys. University of Cincinnati Claremont, the opponent. And then we have a Sunday afternoon games, one o'clock and three o'clock, ladies at one, guys at three, afternoon matinee, Sunday games against the Detroit Christian Club coming into town. So a lot of Cardinal bas basketball on AUSA to turn into. Maybe the Cardinals can turn the table here and get a victory Saturday or Sunday or both. Miss at the line by Ashner O. Oh, yet one out of two to make it 60 to 87. And I think that's where it's going to end. The final score, Grace Christian University Tigers 87, Lord Andrews Cardinals 60. Final score in this one. So we'll get you the final stats of the game here and then say so long, but we'll tell you it was a tough night for the Cardinals here at home. Two uh, losses here, and uh, unfortunately the Cardinals could not uh, keep up with the uh, Grace Christian University Tigers tonight. It was just not enough, and they fall short. 87-60, the men do here. Got, uh, ladies fell in their game earlier, so tough night, but got to keep cheering. And what I like about the Cardinals is they keep their, um, their head up, their chin up, and they don't complain. I got to say they're, they're, uh, they're very good at that, and uh, you got to be that way. You got to be resilient. Cardinals scoring tonight, four for Franklin, nine for Manani. Braswell led the way with 11, eight for Creighton, eight for Dronin, one for Ashner O, two for Whiteman, nine for Newton, eight for Delato, total of 60. Cardinals shot 38% uh, in the second half, that slight improvement from the first half, but boy, tonight they were one out of 15 from three-point land. They have to really a problem there, and they were only uh, five out of 12 from the free throw line. There's two places that were not too good on the stat sheet. Cardinals also out rebounded 59 to uh, 52. Scoring for the Grace Christian Tigers, 14 for uh, Thiel, six for New. Carlson had 12, 11 for Omari, 13 for Bridgeforth, uh, for six for Frazier, 15 for Roberts off the bench, one for Whipple, nine for York off the bench. You know, you can see they had a very balanced attack and they really just took it to the to the Cardinals midway through that first half and never looked back, winning 87 to 60. So, so long from the Andreas and Center for Wellness and uh, we'll see you Saturday night at seven o'clock for the first game and nine o'clock for the second for University of Cincinnati Claremont. So long and uh, have a good night.